Hello. Hello, Danielita. Hello, Nicolito. How are you? Uh, very good. We're uh, starting early today. We are. Yeah. Uh, the reason is uh, we want to give you... <laughs> We want to give you more time to work because if you start late, then you end late yeah, and exhausted. So for the people that don't know, you're referring to me because <laughs> when you said <laughs> you're we want to give you. Oh, it's like you oh, were talking I, to them. Like no. we want to give you guys time. No, no, no. I would have said you guys. But I, since we were in a conversation mm -hmm. and by we, I mean you, you and I, you and I and by you, I mean Danny And I, and by Danny, I mean Daniela, mm -hmm. and by Daniela, I mean Daniela Ocampo, Ocampo. and by Daniela Ocampo, your I mean partner, Daniela Ocampo Diaz. Oh, I thought you were gonna go with my partner. No, I was trying to make it longer and you know hyper specific, <laughs> if you want. Mm -hmm. Um, no. So what uh, we. We, the as in, we as in, as in our painted lives. You yeah. brought us here, by the way. You dug up this no, hole. No, I was just trying to clarify. Oh, for it was everyone. clear. And I was you trying to use that as a reminder for people to know that we, uh, both of us, yeah, are having a visual correspondence. Yes. Every Monday. Every Monday, and uh, it's your turn to mm. um, to it's been hard. to answer back. I mean, I, I guess at this point, we are both answering back all the time. So. Yeah, yeah. It's a conversation. Yeah. I mean. So at, at this point, um, you're answering back next Monday. Yeah, But, yeah. you know, you have to work through the throughout the week. Yeah. And, um, and if we're doing these later on in the afternoon, then it means that you have to work after we finish, which means that, you know, you're going to go till you know, whatever hours in the, into the night. Yeah, I do. I always, uh, when I have to do the correspondence, Yeah. I start super uh, early in the morning. You start, uh, yeah, yeah. And woke then, up early this morning. Yeah, and then I work uh, through the night. Yeah, yeah. So we don't want you to get um, too tired into the uh, late hours of the night. Oh, so I, yeah. I'm still going <laughs> to... Be probably, tired. probably. Yeah, maybe. people don't realize this, but you are very serious when you say, you know, there are different um, people have different timings and different uh, manners of execution. Yeah. And I, I really don't like to you, to describe you as slow because no, but I it think means I'm that they're slow worker. Yeah, and that it, that's not a bad thing. No, I don't not know at why all. people understand all, it as yeah. a bad thing. Yeah, and I and I wouldn't want people to imagine that. People that work really slow is because they're doing something like super, or they're super lazy, precious. Or they're like exactly. I, being I think distracted it has no connotation. I no. think that th the times in your work are just different than mine. Yeah. And um, so you tend to be super reflective about what you do. Very, very reflective. And uh, and that takes time. So, so um, we're trying or, you know, at least I'm hoping that um, that you don't you know, work till too late just so that you're um, well rested. Well, the I good feel. thing is that I got the creamer for my matcha. <laughs> so oh, if so I have to work uh, until late, yeah. I have energy to go. Uh, a calm energy, if you will, right? A uh, calm alertness. Calm alertness, right. Yeah. <laughs> That sounds amazing. Uh, Juan Fesit. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. I, just, I was just thinking if there was a, like a guard dog or, or something like that. Yeah, it's called calm alertness. <laughs> Would you imagine like woof woof No, you're terrible. There's a burglar uh trespassing. Ugh. Woof. <laughs> How bad was that? That was yeah, pretty like bad, right? Like a one <laughs> out of a hundred. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of bad. But um uh let people decide. Did you like the joke? Oh, don't. Did you Let's even not. smile? Oh, okay. So Did you press the dislike button? <laughs> yeah, let's let's trust the internet. <laughs> no, on no, that. it was it was, it was um, really bad. I, really I have bad, yeah. I can I can be, um, I can I can criticize myself. Oh, the amazing Vaughn is being super nice, and it's saying, "Don't forget to like the stream, everyone." There we go. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That does nothing for uh for our well, videos it's in terms of like YouTube pushing them, but yeah, but 
it's supposed to help with the algorithm because if there's a lot of people and I've seen that um, when I read about live streams yeah they say that if there's a lot of people liking and like interacting so commenting and uh, yeah commenting and liking <laughs> Uh, and subscribing, ring that bell. Yeah, ringing the bell. Um, it gets promoted more. So maybe more people can see it if they uh, look for, I don't know, art or something like that. Maybe mm -hmm. it pops up. So, yeah. Nice. Mm. So we're not showing the reference today. No, regarding no, no. Today's As Guy was saying, can we see the reference? And no. Today, a, uh, it's a surprise. It's a, and it's a dumb surprise. but um, I think it's a cool one. It's just something that Fera sent me last night. Um, and as soon as I saw it, I just took a, um, screenshot. a screenshot. And I was like, I got to paint this. I love it. I love it. So, you know what I was going to do? No. I was going to open uh, the bus. The uh, bus. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, no. I had a brain fart. Okay. No, 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 no. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so so Fer sent me this um, yesterday, yesterday, last night, and I loved it, and I absolutely loved it. So I think she's gonna have a blast if I paint this. Yeah, I think she's gonna really like it. She's gonna be super proud. Very proud. So yeah. I think it's gonna be a cool painting, but also I'm doing it for Fer. So I think that's a cool thing. Um, so let's see. Um, I was saying Juan Fesit dice Buenas tardes Daniela y Nicolás. Hola Juan. ¿Cómo está? Robin said, hey, the bell works. Oh, Woo, that's Robin, amazing. See, the so, bell works. Uh, if you don't want to miss our videos, ring the bell, as Robin, as, as Robin did. Yeah. And you can be here, and you can be notified when we start. Because, as we said, sometimes we start 1.30, sometimes, uh, I mean, it's not even one here. And We are a box full of are. chocolates. Yeah. <laughs> Um, R R S K. No, wait. Okay, go for it. Is Krakow? Krakow okay. said, "So happy to have joined your Discord today. Thanks no to way. Liad as well." Oh, Liad, you're huge, awesome. Yeah. I don't know if Liad I is don't know here, if but if Liad's here, but yeah. But that's so cool. We have to check it out. I'll check it out this afternoon. I don't sure. have a Discord, but I, but I'm gonna get into that. I'm not gonna say that today. Well, I'm you can take you can uh, take a break this this week. Yeah. And just go and well, not take a break, but just dedicate well, it to working. Like focus on and on the correspondence. I'll I'll yeah. do the uh, Discord uh, this afternoon and I'll let you know about it. Okay. Um, Cody Winicky said, "I understand the struggle. I have small kids, so I don't usually get to paint till after they go to sleep. Late starts after a long day are tough." Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And with small kids, I mean... Oh, I can't imagine. Because I think about my cousin. Yeah. And he has so much energy. Yeah, they do. Like, tireless. Oh, yeah. He's, like, always wanting to do something. I know. Even when he's sleepy, because sometimes he's, like, a walking zombie. Yeah. But he wants to play. So he, like, stumbles playing, but yeah. he wants to do it. Oh yeah, so going going to sleep is the worst thing in the world yeah. for a kid. And and when I go visit him, yeah, uh, he's like super excited and he's like trying to prolong the time I'm there, yeah, as much as he can. Yeah. So he's always like stumbling. You know, I've, I've we've talked about this, but I never understood, never in a million years understood why people would say about kids that oh my god they're so tired that they can't go to sleep. Oh, that happens. It's like. What? What does that mean? How are you so tired that you can't go to sleep? It's but like when you're an adult, you can be when you're incredibly tired, you don't fight it. You just you no, know, you just but plop I think that down and go to bed. But sometimes I have to say uh when I did all nighters. Yeah. Uh I remember a time, a specific time that I was working as a bartender. Yeah. And we had a trouble closing like Uh, there was a trouble oh, problems with the like, yeah um, with the money we were counting yeah and I went back home about five thirty a.m. or more maybe it was super it wasn't even late it was like early now yeah 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 you came in with the newspaper <laughs> yeah and I was so tired that I was like laying on the bed but I couldn't sleep until 
like nine. Oh my god. Yeah, no. it was terrible. And I also remember when I had to do all nighters uh because of finals. Yeah. Sometimes I couldn't sleep afterwards. Well, I but never maybe, I've never maybe, felt that. Yeah, but maybe it was because I think I had a super like damaged uh biological clock. Well, yeah, your sleep cycles were very weird. Yeah, because of the of the work at yeah. the bar, because of the um, horario schedule. schedule. Yeah. yeah. Um yeah, it was like super weird for me. So f sometimes my body was like, "Oh, it's time to work." Even if I hadn't Like, even if I didn't have to go to work, yeah, my body couldn't get to rest. Like, I was programmed for that. Yeah. So. You know, every time, if, if you say, I mean, every time you say, I was going to say every time you say, but you don't say this. What? <laughs> but every time I hear biological clock, mm -hmm. I think of uh, Marissa Tomei in My Cousin Vinny. I don't think you've ever seen that movie. No. It's actually a, a really good. Uh, I don't think, I yeah. don't know how it's aged. I haven't seen it in, I don't know, maybe like 20 years. But um, no, probably not 20, but but uh, yeah, I haven't seen it in a while. I have no idea what you're talking about. But yeah, but I'm going to guess it's a good movie. It's a good movie. It's it's one of those uh, pop culture movies. Or like I feel. a memorable. Movie. Yeah, very much. Very much. And she's amazing in that movie. Mm, Hannah was saying, hey, guys, happy Wednesday. Same happy Wednesday, uh, Hannah. Sorry, who is this you're drawing? So it's fair. So it's it's an image that Fer sent me. And Fer, for uh, one, the ones that maybe don't know, is Nicolas' uh, younger kid. My my youngest, youngest. daughter. Yeah, yeah, youngest kid. Yeah. Only daughter. My only and daughter youngest. and my youngest. Uh, yeah. So let's said, not complicate ourselves. Yeah, yeah, he said youngest daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have two kids, Samu. And Fer. Who's 14 and Fer, who's 10. Yeah. So. And, you know, if, if you guys have followed me, you've seen paintings of them all over the place. Yeah. Uh, Guillaume was saying hello. Hi, Guillaume. Hey, Guillaume. Nice to see you here. Um, how's everyone? I want to know. Is everyone painting? Is everyone like painting? Like you said yesterday. <laughs> so, please, your name, if you're painting, yes or no. Oh, my and, God. Uh, the medium. This is like what? a Google Doc now. <laughs> <laughs> and why? What did you and say? What? Oh, and okay. what? And what? Now and why? I thought it was like, <laughs> like an <laughs> MFA describe, crit. Describe the reason of what yeah, you're painting and in fifty words. Yeah. <laughs> Hannah said, "I predicted it through the shape of the face. It is so fair. Yeah, it's weird because it feels like fair. I know. Because of the like, she has a very uh, defined, like." Uh, oval face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And her hair, because I think she got like my hair. 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 Yeah, I, I think she got my hair. She has, like, not super thin hair. I would say my sister has, like, me and my sister, we kind of Which share the sister? same genetic. Which sister? Because you have a lot of sisters. No, Tacha. I mean, the sister that looks most like me. I um, think Tacha looks like Kata. What? Yeah. She, her and me, I think we're the most alike. You think? Oh, my God, yeah. Well, I don't You know, know that when I was younger... I was in the gym and somebody knew my sister, somebody knew Tacha, and they walked up to me like, and they were looking at me like super weird, this guy. And he was like, can I just ask you something? And I was like, yeah, are you, are you the brother maybe of Tacha? And I was like, yeah, yeah. And he was like, no, dude, this is, you, you look way too much like her. But for example, I think that my sister and I look like, uh, uh, like if we're family, but we're not that like alike. I, I, and I've always told you, you look like sisters, but your sister looks like your mom and you look like your dad. And that's for me, that's like super easy in my brain. Yeah, it's like, but, yes, but, you're sisters, but you're not, you know, you're different. Yeah. But I was going to say that I remember that she was an, at a party mm -hmm. and a friend of mine approached her and they didn't like they didn't knew each other. Yeah. And he was like, I'm sorry. Uh, are you related to Daniela Ocampo? Yeah. She was like, well, yeah, I'm her sister. And they sent me a, like a like a selfie. Mm -hmm. And I remember I was like, but she isn't, like she doesn't look that similar to me. Yeah. And he was like, oh, she's identical. No, no. I was like, no. what? No, no that's, that I mean, dude's a little blind. Yeah, because yeah. um, she has a lot of freckles. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, but I think that our faces are different. Very different. Your noses are different. Your like, eyes are different. Even the... The eyes, yeah, yeah. The, the brows, everything. Right. But think of Tacha like the cheeks, and me. cheeks, everything. Think of Tacha and me. We both have like kind of full no, lips. No, but the thing is that round I Round nose, don't, big I, eyes. I don't feel that you're that alike oh, to dude, Tacha. Oh, dude, like we are. Dude? Yeah, I know. Who are you talking oh, with? Oh, come on. It's, a, it's an expression. <laughs> no. Dude, it's an expression. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, dude. I'm fine with that. No, I'm not. No, <laughs> no, no, uh, there's no, a lot I'm of fine. people. That, it by the way, weird. Without, like without making it... Um, uh like the conversation about that there's a lot of people that don't like that anymore no no because it's like uh it's as if you're referring to a guy so it's like why are we re like using guy expressions and very bro-ish yeah. expressions for everyone but i like dude i i think it's fine no i I'm, i think it's very I'm okay with it i it think just... it's like close it's very close it feels very very close well it feels close but not as close as we are so it's weird for you to call me uh i know i mean but i don't know i mean if it's not it's uh it's born out of um Love? closeness yeah always okay anything i say to you it's always out of love dude <laughs> what dude. what were you gonna say dude. before that, that is, it's like you know how people are saying bruh 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 but well you know, but do you it's know the what's same thing. weird? Because, I mean, we talk to each other in Spanish. So, Para si. like, we never si. say bro because we don't speak in English. Our equivalent would be parse. Si. Si. Yeah, but I don't call you parse. Si. Not on Wednesdays. No, no, never. I mean, <laughs> I would never call you parse. Si. Yeah, I mean, either. Like, that's, not, that's not a word that I no, use. No, no. I mean, it's fine for other people. Yeah. But. That's why what I say with um. ¿Cuál era? I don't know. Where are you going, dude? Dude, yeah. I, in my I don't know why I had a brain fart and I had like guy. In yeah, my, nobody that's, calls that's each other guy. That's how unusual it is guy. for me to say that word. So, yeah, but um. I forget what I was saying. What were but you saying? No, yeah. I forgot. Oh, come on! After that trip, you know, I I don't remember. Yeah, so, yeah. Oh, <laughs> we were talking about my sister. Yeah, we'll... Oh, no. I was going to say that I don't feel that you look that uh, like to... Um, Tacha? Tacha. Oh, I think Not at are. all. I mean... Yeah, I think we do. I feel she looks more like um, Kata. Mm, no. Yeah. Your brother looks uh, like the photos I saw from your dad. He's very much like uh, mannerisms of my dad. Mm -hmm. Like he doesn't look like my dad. Well, but, I didn't. But there's a ton of my dad. Your in dad, him. so yeah, no, no, I could tell you, but there is so much of how he moves and like expressions in his face. But I would also say that, for example, um, Tacha looks like Kata, but Kata also looks like your mom. Okay, no, you're way off no. on that. You know, because no, my sister is like side of my father's uh, family. 100%. But she kind of looks like your mom. No. I mean... Between the the three of them? Oh, I think Lu a mix of Luisa and Tacha. Yeah? Yeah, for no. sure. Okay. Yeah. No this idea. This is great content for people that don't <laughs> know my mother or my father. Yeah. Margo Elgado dice, Buenas, empezaron antes. Hola, Margo, sí. Sí, por eso... Estábamos diciendo, si quieren, eh, abajo hay una campanita. Si ponen en la campanita, lo bueno es que YouTube les avisa cuando empezamos. Porque, digamos, hoy Nicolás estaba hablando que empezamos un poquito antes porque me está tomando mucho tiempo. Me va a tomar más tiempo. Ah, no, es que como hablo sin dar pistas. Me no. está tomando tiempo la que correspondencia del, del sí. lunes, sí. Tienes que trabajar en la... Entonces, en la eh, estamos haciendo esto para terminar un poquito antes y así que no tenga que trasnochar tanto. Eh, pero a lo que iba es, Margo, si quieren y si quiere cualquier persona tocar la campanita, les avisa. Y pueden saber si empezamos de pronto a la una y media como siempre o a, a la una o a las doce... O a las doce y media, mm. o a las dos. Ah, bueno, vamos a decir horas eh, aleatorias. O a las seis. Cuatro y... Margo dice, la tengo, pero hoy estoy de cumple. ¡Ay, feliz Oy, cumpleaños, Margo! ¡Felicitaciones! ¿Qué, ¿Cuál es el plan de hoy? 
¿Cuál es el...? No tiene que haber plan, ¿no? No, no tiene... Por no. ejemplo, yo no... ¿A ti no te gusta A mí celebrar? no me gusta celebrar el cumpleaños. No, pero el plan puede ser, ¿no? Hoy voy a quedarme en mi casa. O sí, sea, sí, es sí. que con plan no me estoy imaginando ah, algo veces, grande. Hay veces suena como si algo tuviera no. que pasar, pero... Yo, yo siento tampoco. presión. Si alguien me dice, uy, ¿cuál es el plan? Y yo digo, no... Eh, yo nunca siento presión. Es como, ¿cuál calentar, es el plan? Voy a dormir, calentar algo en el microondas. Gracias. Dormir y... Sí, dormir y comer arroz con huevo, no... No, siento presión. Pero no, no lo digo con presión. Eh, me da curiosidad. Y feliz cumpleaños, Margo. Sí, felicitaciones. Um, Cody Winicky said, Currently hanging out with my youngest, three years old. So obviously not painting. But tonight I'm finishing up a large portrait commission. Nice, nice. Yeah. And um, is your kid... Um, Hearing the stream too? <laughs> like, is he kind of interested? Or are they? We I don't know if... They, yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. Mm. Rohit Kemhavi said, Hey guys, sometimes we feel like hey, we Rahid. look... Sometimes we feel like we look quite different from our family, but people can catch the similarities in just one look. Yeah, yeah, that happens. Because, I, I mean... It's not like you see my sister and I and you think we're friends. Like, you you know we're family. But I it's think. so hard to unknow something that you already know. Mm. But I think, like, your body type, like, you're close to the same height. Well, she's taller. A little, but a little bit. Well, but... A little bit. No, a lot of bit. I, I mean. don't think so. Yeah, maybe mm. like 10 centimeters. No, <laughs> no, no, like no, trust me. <laughs> seven. No, six. trust me. She's not like 10 centimeters taller. Well, six, but that's no. a lot for me. No, your sister's like also petite. Well, yeah, yeah. Not for a, a Colombian. No, I know, but... Because I, I think I'm petite even for a Colombian. But I'm saying like if, if you see your grandmother, your mother, your sister and yourself, it's like, okay, yeah. But like my, it makes sense. Do you think I look like my grandma from uh, my mom's side? Because I think I look more. No, like but just my in body husband. type, you're just like a smaller build. That like that's what I'm referring to. It's just like it makes sense. Like mm -hmm. you know. Cody said he li he sometimes likes to sit and watch for a couple minutes at a time, but his attention span for anything other than cartoons isn't oh. very long oh, oh yeah please. it's you know yeah they're a three-year-old yeah 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 i mean it's even like a big thing that he likes to sit and watch for a couple of minutes uh our oh, videos no. oh, oh, i think yeah. my cousin couldn't i think samu was um you know like with any three-year-old you have to keep them entertained but um I would put, and this may sound very, I guess, like 19, like end of 1960s, beginning of 70s, but I would uh, put Samu in his chair, in his like, um, what do you call that? Like dining chair? Yeah. In his little like, you know, Yeah, yeah, chair. I know what you're talking about, yeah. And I would put that chair in front of the TV, not in front, like glued to the TV, <laughs> but I would put that chair, in, but I would put him in front of the TV Because if you were trying to give him something to eat, like, he would just, like, his mind was everywhere. Like, he wouldn't eat anything. If he was watching, like, Discovery Kids or Disney Channel, um, he was, he could just eat, like, and, and he could watch, like, three shows in a row. It was amazing. It was amazing. Because sometimes you're very tired. I'm, I'm going to say this. And uh, two-year-olds are, oof, that's too much energy. Yeah. When they're very little. And, and because they can harm themselves with anything. Um, so you're exhausted by then. So when they're three, that they can actually walk everywhere and grab anything, you are just begging for moments where they just stay still. Just stay still for like a second. So yeah, so I would just uh, strap him in, you know, strap him into the chair. <laughs> and, um, and he would watch TV and he would love it. Because... So. That's not the case, for example, with my cousin. He never... Like, he... Now he's four, and he kind of likes... Um, like, he could see Peppa Pig yeah. before uh, going to bed. Yeah. But he's not the type of kid that loves to be... 
Oh, really? Like watching TV or with a screen. No, oh, he's God. like he it's wants so to be doing things like I know. drawing, painting, playing with the cars. Like he he loves to be in action. Yeah. Like he he get tired. He get so he gets super tired of being in front of a TV. Oh, I mean, God bless him. Because that's every kid. I mean, every single kid wants to change activities like every half an hour. Yeah. Every single kid. But, you know, and that sounds amazing. And for people, people that are, um, I'm not saying you're being judgmental, Danny. So this is, uh, of course, not you. Mm -hmm. But many times people are like, oh, no screens and no, no, come on. Kids need, need like uh, socializing and physical activity. And, you know, as a parent, and I went through this twice. Oh, yeah, sure. That's great. That is fantastic. Oh, yeah, but you also need... And, you know, if like you are doing that like you as two, three days straight, that's great. But if you're doing it three years straight... Oh, no. Oh, no. No, yeah. that's not like... that. That's not viable. Like, you are exhausted. And this is like thinking that every single parent has the ability to dedicate every single hour of their day to their kid. Yeah. Every hour, every single hour. And that's not true. Like some parents, both parents have to work yeah. in, in some families. So, no, this is, you know, you, I think that parents deal with or are grateful with as much help as you can get, as much help, you know, be it a grandmother or like you, you know, you're a cousin that comes to visit and they just, you know, they distract uh, the kid for like a couple of hours. That's amazing. Hmm. Like all the help that you can get. Yeah. And sometimes the help, you know, yes, means going to the park with somebody or um, or doing activities or no, cooking or, or Play-Doh or getting TV. your hands like dirty. But many times it's like, oh, my God, could you just sit and watch Peppa? Like, just sit there, yeah. please. Just sit. Like, But you know what's the other thing with my cousin? Last time he was trying to sleep and he told me to be with him because he didn't want me to go he was like when i wake up you have to be here <laughs> and i was like okay and we were seeing peppa yeah but we were watching uh on youtube okay like the episodes that are there yeah and he was like no but i want new episodes and i was looking and i was like oh look look this one and he was like oh uh in this episode happens this this and this because i don't know why but he has like a super amazing memory yeah and we couldn't even get to see one chapter and i remember i went in my phone to yeah. like netflix yeah and i was like oh this is the new season he does like he haven't seen any chapter any episodes, well he yeah. did yeah i mean he knew everything he was like oh in this one they jump in some puddles and then blah 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 And that's what happened. Because I was like, no, maybe you're wrong. No, he wasn't. So it was super hard. Because it's hard for him to watch TV. Yeah. But it makes it harder that he has such a good memory. Cause, yeah. Because he, he knows he has seen all the seasons. Yeah. So, He's a very intelligent kid. You yeah. know, intelligent kids usually get just bored easily. Yeah. You have to challenge them like every single, with every single activity, you got to challenge them. You know something funny? My mm -hmm. sister, when she was young, mm, at that time it was uh, VHS, I think. VHS. Okay, like, yeah. No, el anterior, ¿cuál era? Beta. I mean, th those were like contemporary. Beta it was beta. beta. Was good. beta. The thing is, beta was big for us here in uh, Latin America. But not for the in world. In the world? I don't think so. So it was like a kind of VHS. Yeah. And... My sister was always, like, super intelligent, but she was, like, super, um, like, active, too. And my mom and my dad would go to sleep, and she would go and open my dad's eyes, like, are you sleeping? And he was like, no, well, now I'm not. And they tried to put her to see, like, to watch TV, and she didn't yeah. like it. Like, she gets super bored. But then, when the commercials came... Yeah. She was hooked. Oh, so my God. So they, they did a recording. Yeah. Like with a camera. It was like they were recording the TV because you couldn't record directly. Yeah. And they recorded uh, commercials, like a lot of commercials. What? This is sounding amazing. And they just put 
the commercials for my sister. Like, she was like, oh, I want to watch TV. And they knew that she wanted to see, like, that commercial. <sighs> I had never heard this story. No? This is amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, I love she, it. She couldn't, uh, like, her attention span was so short that if it was, uh, like, an episode that was, like, an hour long, she couldn't do it. Oh, my God. But this commercials is are, are, like, a minute. Yeah. And they're, like, usually they have a song and they have, like, yeah. like a jingle or so something. So, my dad just recorded, like, a bunch of uh, commercials. And that was the only way they so could... So your sister was like the TikTok audience yeah. before there was TikTok. Yeah, like she needed something super fast. Like, like I want this, but now change and change and change That's and change amazing. and another I have and another. I had never heard that story. Yeah. And, your, and your parents are incredible. Yeah. To know that like, okay, we got to figure this out. Like, we got to... Like, who cares? Who cares that... Like, nobody cares if... if a k why is a kid going to care that a show is a show and a commercial is a commercial? Like, yeah. kids don't care. Yeah. So, I, I that is so awesome that they realized, let's just record some commercials for yeah. her. No, <laughs> and when, when they tell the story, it's so funny because they say, like, we realized she was, like, uh, standing up and doing whatever when the program started. Yeah. But when the commercials were there, she was, like, relaxed oh, and she was so like amazing. watching this the screen all the time oh i love this so they were like wait a minute yeah what if it's we like an experiment this? yeah and they, like i mean it was a very successful lab rats <laughs> yeah yeah i love that I cody winicky said your parents are genius haha <laughs> i love yeah. that i absolutely love that i think it was super clever yeah of them amazing yeah. amazing and and i imagine at the time maybe they having a discussion like Okay, she loves um, commercials, but what can we do to oh, have I'm commercials sure. all the time? And then my dad had the idea with the ca handy cam. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. I imagine and, and them it's like... it's terrible. If you think about it, it has to be so bad. Yeah. Like the recording would have... It's probably so bad. Yeah, and with this, like the lines that appear Everything. in the screen oh my because God. of the recording. That yeah. is so good. That There's so many levels to that story. That's so good. Yeah, and I remember they... they uh always told me that it was like a super long uh video they made so i imagine they were i don't know watching a telenovela whatever or uh the news oh commercials are commercials. up grab the camera alejandro yeah and he would take the camera and record everything i love that's it. amazing I, i love this yeah 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 it's that that's like an amazing i'm story. sorry but that's like an installation that's a video installation <laughs> yeah if you're asking me Or Your like parents were artists. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I always loved that story. Because imagine having a kid that opens your eyes when you're asleep. Oh, that's... Because they have so yeah. much energy that they, they, they want like, to do... They go like this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That's what My she did. My kids used to do that. Yeah, that's, no. th that's annoying. That's very annoying. Yeah. I mean, not annoying. You love them regardless, but... But you're tired. <laughs> for God's sake, just two seconds. Yeah. Two seconds. Give me two seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, Roslyn. Hi, Liad. Hi, Marcelo. How are you? So, Liad, thanks again. Like, you, you're amazing. Yeah, thank you for Your the initiative is, uh, is incredible. Thank you so much. Um, I haven't signed up. I'll do that right after this painting. So, um, And I'll I, be checking out I the uh, Discord. On next week, as yeah. I said. Yeah. yeah. But, but uh, once again, Liad, thank you so, so much. You're awesome. Yeah, thank you. And thank you everyone that uh, that has joined the Discord. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a it's to hang out, you yeah. know. Yeah, you don't have to, and you don't have to. But if you want, we have a TikTok. But you know what's a cool thing? Because uh, you if cut people my know plug. that there's a Discord, and people that are usually um, used to uh, Discords, like for example, Samu is. Um, He uses it all the time. Yeah, a hundred percent. They'll they'll check that out sometimes before they, for example, want to hang out on a, on a live. Mm -hmm. And if we pin something, uh, if we pin a thread that has to do with materials, mm -hmm. then that's super cool because we can always tell people, oh, we have a, a thread on materials that we use pin, uh, pinned on Discord. So you can check that out. Oh. And that's going to answer questions like so easily to, to people. I mean, it's not going to... You're never going to eliminate people coming in and saying, hey, what are you painting on? But, yeah. but there's a, they, they, there should be 
you know, a place where they can go and they know like, okay, that's like resources. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, Marcelo was saying, how do I get in on the Discord? And Rohit Kemhavi said, I'd love to join. Can someone please share? So wait, because I have the link. Uh, I don't know if I send it to you here. Um, wait. What happened? I opened another thing. Wait. So, Liad, could you send us the link again? No, no, no. I have it here. Okay. I was just trying to open um, that cat the video chat. that you're watching. What are you watching? You have to change the joke. I don't know. With your cat I either have videos. to change it or I just have to stick to it. Do <laughs> forever. Maybe change it. There is, I mean, there is a uh, value in both. If you change it, like you're humble enough to say it was a bad joke, I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna update it. But there is like tenacity when you say it's going to be the same joke all the time. The amazing Vaughn said, you're going to have to add the Discord link to the screen with your other socials. Yeah, for now we have the Instagrams. But once we get uh, into Discord and we know more about it. Oh, we, we can, can add share it. it. Yeah, no, we can add it. That's totally fine. I trust uh, Liat. Yeah. No, no, it's no, that's not what I'm saying. Because we haven't even been there and it, it was created yesterday. So that's why we haven't created the, like, the handle for it. Do you even have a handle? No, but it doesn't matter. Like, the Discord is just a link and that's it. It doesn't matter. Yeah, but it says to the screen with your other socials. We have our socials here. Oh, but it, it, so I'm, I'm sure that you like could search. I'm, I'm sure that you could search for that Discord. Like, I'm going to do this right now. Uh, let's do this live here, but I have to uh, download Discord, so that's going to take me like a little bit. Okay, Discord, install. So, Liat, w what's the name of it? Our Painted Lives? OPL. It's OPL. It. So, let me see. So, okay, so downloaded Discord. I'm guessing I can uh, link Discord to my uh, to my accounts, right? I can start with like, okay, let's see, register. Oh, no, it's like a whole thing. Uh, okay. Okay, next. Verify by CAPTCHA. Let's verify by CAPTCHA. Uh, let me see. Okay. What? Eight. No, no, because I'm doing this like, oh, okay, no, that did it. Um, so what should I call myself? I'm going to call myself Coco Ramo. So everyone that... Um, no, but you should no Nicolás Uribe. For okay, them. I wanted it to be like a, like a, you know, filial thing. Nicolás Uribe. That sounds so formal. And let me put my password... Nicolás OPL or... Oh, that's... I think we're good. Sergi dice, hola, Date no vemos birth. la ref hoy. No, Sergi, hoy es sorpresa. <laughs> Date of birth. I mean, it's a... It's a not mala sorpresa, pero... Pues tonta sorpresa, pero muy tierna. Entonces... I'm, do, I'm, I'm in date of birth, Danny. Ah, create account. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Allow contacts to add me. No, that's kind of weird. Get started. Uh, allow Discord uh, allow Discord to access your contacts. No, deny, because that's annoying. Oh, but now it open settings. Oh, I have to allow that. Oh, come on. Okay. Oh, I have to allow everything. Oh, come on. What's the? Uh... Ivan dice, ja ja ja, Coco Ramo está genial. Si es sí. que así le digo, así le digo yo. Sí, por eso. Pero. Pero pues es que si la gente es nuevo, nueva. No, pero a mí me gusta. Pues lo puedes cambiar. Like ¿no? Craig Mullins. No, no, ya lo hice. Craig Mullins used to be... What was Craig Mullins? Good Brush. So one of the best... Um, one of the best digital artists uh, ever, if not like the best, he used to go into forums, into like a nin ninja forum, I think it was, 
and he used to be Goodbrush, you know, and everyone knew that Goodbrush was Craig Mullins. So it was it was pretty cool, actually. Oh my God! I let me see. Come on, get started. Allow. Enter your name. Coco Ramo, go ahead if you like. No, 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 my name now. It's the same. What? What happened here? This is riveting live. But I'm doing this right now. They're not even seeing what you're doing. I know, I know. Okay, so what is this? Uh, skip, at friend skip. Uh, so what am I searching no, for? No, join, no. join a friend on, have an invite already. So, Liad, could no, you... No, no, in your mail. It's in your mail. I send it. It's Discord in your mail. Okay, let me see. So the link, just yeah. so it's easier. Uh, where is... Okay, right here. Okay. Oh, so that's the invite. Liad invited Hello. you to join OPL. I, I accept the invite. Join hub. What is hub? No, no, thanks. There we go. So I'm... Oh, Rosalind, what are you doing? <laughs> Roslyn, what are you doing? <laughs> so that let me see cool. the emojis. I'm here. So poop. There we go. So I'm the, I'm in. So we're good. <laughs> awesome. I don't know how that's uh, that's gonna derail everything, but uh, so we're good. Yeah, that Callum took, like, said, looking forward to Nika's edgy MySpace username for <laughs> Discord. No, I'm sorry. So maybe I was the one that. Oh no! Who cares? No, because you were like, "Oh, I would, I would love to be that," but oh, so I stop. felt bad. No, who cares? Who cares? Um, it's a username. I am um, in PlayStation. I am Bristlebrush. Bristlebrush. Who has the Discord link? It's in the chat. Um, I just send it, but um, uh, here you have it, uh, Callum, again. Hmm. This, by the way, is the first Discord I've ever been part of, <laughs> which is weird for me. Because you didn't. Because I follow have tons of things of video games, but I just I don't really follow Reddit's or Discord. So. Rohit Kemhavi said, "Thanks. So we're gonna share art stuff here, or just chat, hang out." Uh in the Discord. Yeah. Well, we'll see. I don't know. We'll see how it. I mean, it's a hangout place, so. We, we still haven't uh, established the character. I think the character of the Discord will, you know, will kind of form itself. So, no worries. Rosalind said, you're there. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. I know. <laughs> mm. I'll let Danny know how it is. But I have to say that I'm not good answering Anywhere. Anything. I think, yeah, I think we've established that. Yeah. We, here in Colombia, we use WhatsApp. And I uh, I don't know why I never answer. But I it's answer not like being mean. Because I no. don't think I'm mean. It's no. just like I'm... Detestable. I know. I'm kidding. No, I'm like, kidding. I don't know why, I'm but I way. never... I, I answer in my brain. I always answer in my brain. And then if enough time goes by, you're like, I can't answer now. Like, it's going to be so uncomfortable to, yeah. hey, forgive my tardiness. That That's my no, go-to. I always when say When I answer that. late. Yeah, like, oh, I'm oh, sorry. Oh, forgive my tardiness. And I always say, like, Forgive I'm my sorry. tardy response. I think that's what I say. That in Sp in English? In English, yeah. <laughs> it's very formal. But it, I, I always think that if it's very formal, like, people are going to think, oh, no, they were busy. Like, oh, it sounds like they were legit busy. So, no, and I I'm sorry if I've answered to anyone here like that. And I always, as I was saying, I always say, like, I I just read the message, but it's always true. It's not like I open a message and then I don't answer, but it's like I don't even notice I have a message. And when I do, that's when I answer. The thing is, you don't check your email at all and you no. don't have notifications for your email. No. So or for my DMs. Yeah. So or for my. You'll only check your email like if you're expecting something. That is actually very true for Danny. That's that is so not the way to get through to her. I think you would probably pay more attention to like a DM oh, you know, a, on Instagram. Oh, a hundred percent. Than yeah. an email, of course. Yeah, than an email for sure. Yeah. Like that was a struggle for me when I was in art school. Yeah. Because I had to, like, I had a reminder on my phone <laughs> mm -hmm. at the end of the week, 
like an alarm that said check email because oh i had God. to check if i had something that maybe a teacher sent or if i was in a group uh like a groupal groupal <laughs> group assignment i love uh, groupal i love groupal you can call yourself groupal no what would you call yourself danny ella or campo <laughs> Yeah, I never go for a username. No? No. But I sometimes mean, you kind of have to. Instagram is Daniela OCMP. Because I mean, at the time Ocampo uh, was taken. Yeah. And Ocamp, no. Mm, so I went with without I the liked, vowels. I, I would have liked... I'm Nicolás Uribe, so, you know, mm -hmm. that's super easy. That's We are essentially the same there. But... um. I I would have been I I used to like um Kremnitz white or flake white. They're all like lead white or lead white. I'm lead white in somewhere. Yeah, I in video games, which I like. I like lead white. I think that that's a that's a cool username. But I would have liked uh those usernames for uh Instagram, I feel. Like lead white or yeah, that those would have been cool. But when you're trying to get people to know you, it's I think it's better to just say your name. That's why I thought it was important for you to have your name on Discord. But now, I no, mean, don't. If you can change it. You change. Oh, it, like the word. It. Don't fret it. Don't fret. What's that? The Do you remember that we were speaking? Oh. No, 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 it's oh, not. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I thought <laughs> he was word. like. Uh, <laughs> no, don't do no. Fret is actually like a four letter. Yeah. Four letter word. So. No, I thought that was the world of to world of today. No, so I no, was no, 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 scared. We were speaking about that word. So. Because no, I don't would worry. be so mad if someone. Uh, oh, it's okay. I'm sure. I'm sure people people get spoiled with that all the time. No, but I wouldn't like that. That's oh, it's why terrible. I do it like first time. Oh, I do it like at three in the morning. Of the day. Yeah. Uh. Cody Winicky said, "I am weird bean. No, weird beard." Okay, weird beard. On Discord, because my hair is brown, but for some reason I have a reddish beard. Haha. <laughs> I used to have like Viking beard yeah. too, like you red, had, you red, had, like, brown, red, black. Redheads on bla your red hairs. Yeah, all. The, I'm like such a bootleg ginger that that um like I used to have freckles when I was little, but I think sun Did freckles. You? Yeah, yeah, I think no, from I think the it sun. Was sun. Yeah, I think it, I think it was from the sun. But um, but I used to have freckles. I used to be like blonde, not like you know bleach blonde, not at all. Like auburn hair, I would say. Um, and uh, but when I when I when my beard started growing, it was always like a black hair, a brown hair, a red hair, and a blonde hair. It was a disgrace. It was like make up your mind, genetics, please. Liad was saying, Nicolas, what do you want your name to be? Oh, that's fine. It's Nicolas. Yeah, that, the, whatever I whatever I did there uh, registering, it's totally fine. Belts said, "Oof! Now I have to word. Now I have to wordle now." <laughs> yeah, we always do that like first thing in the morning. Yeah, we always share with each other. No, but at afterwards, like after I completed, you share it with me. Yeah, because uh, you were like. In your head, thinking that... I don't trust you. <laughs> I don't trust... No, no, no. no I'm not in my head. I just don't trust you. Because you always um, use the first word. I always use the same word. Always. Yeah. The, the, yeah, like the same first word. Yeah. So... I go for... It's not an intelligent word. It's not a good word. It's not... It's just a word that I, I, I go like, my, yeah, I'm fine with that word. I, mine is means. Yeah. Mine is naive, which I think is... But you have like four... Naive, words, paint. dream, paint. I think those are your go-to. Um, yeah. And you just do it... Um, randomly. Randomly, <gasps> yeah. And you know what? Once I got one. Oh, time, yeah, I you remember. have one. I don't have I don't yeah. have that. Like, I was trying to uh, use another word, and I was like, okay, I'm going to go with another one. And Bingo. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like I never Danny, have... Danny has a better record than I do. Yeah. Like... Well, it's not that much. I think you're kicking my ass for sure. I have 32 played, 100% win. Uh, well, current streak is 32 and max streak is 32. Yeah, but we I did... I have uh, one of one, one of two, five of three, 
10 of 4, 9 of 5, and 6 of 6. That 1 of 1 and 1 of 2, that is killer for your stats. What? Yeah, that beat my... That beats me like But crazy. I have a lot in 5. Like, it's 10 in 4, but then 9 in 5. No, that's pretty that's common, I would say. Yeah. Ivan dice, most of blondies become baldies. Uh, yeah, that's genetic, yeah. Mm, Rohit Kemhavi said, by the way, I've been obsessing over the artwork of Australian war artist... Ivor Haley. Ivor Haley. Oh yeah. my god. Do you guys know about him? Of course. Ivor Haley. I have a book on him. Uh that book that has the male nude, that like super sexy male nude. Um the book is not great. I wish it had like more drawings and bigger reproductions, but I think it's very hard. I mean, I haven't looked recently. Maybe there's a newer publication. But um what a painter. Oof. Oh my lord, what a painter. If you like him, um, what was their name? I'm sorry, uh, Danny. Rahid. So, Rahid, if you like um, Ivor Heli, uh, I mean, same kind of sentiment of painter, like completely different subject matter, though. But uh, you should check uh, Baldomero Resendi. Could you could you link um, copy their name, Danny? Yeah. Just Google uh, Baldomero Rosero Resendi. Baldomero. Okay. Resendi con doble S. Romero. Romero Resendi. Parece como un... I've, like, I've heard you say the name before. Yeah. Oh, he's amazing. But it sounds like a uh, oh. tongue twister. Oh, he's amazing. Baldomero Romero. Yeah. Yeah, he's amazing. Mm. So you should check... Um, I even think you talked about him I in have, a I video. Have. Yeah, I have. I don't remember the video. He's a painter from Sevilla. That's incredible. Like incredible no no the uh the other one the lesser known <laughs> eh, Jaime Santiago dice hola a todos hola Jaime Santiago. Jaime Santiago ¿cómo le va? un saludo un abrazo un beso y una flor te quiere una caricia y un adiós mm. uh, Rohit said Tabaco I know Chanel. him ¿Qué? I know him his drunkard's painting yes. is genius with a big G Oh yeah, and and the one of I'm the gonna uh, go for water. Yeah, okay. sure. And the one of the um, the turkeys. Have you seen that one with the uh, bailadores and the um, and the turkeys? Is amazing. So this uh, this is weird color for me. By the way, I'm only using it in the background. So. I don't know the effect that, that like the real effect that's going to have on the painting. Uh probably very small. Even though I'm I'm adding it to the hair to the sort of rim of the hair just so that there's a um a nice kind of atmospheric transition to that color. But I invited to my palette a color that I very seldomly um use. Very seldomly if ever to be honest. This is cinnabar green light. Cinnabar green light or cinnabar green deep? I forget. It looks like a, a light. So this is cinnabar green light. That's a color that is a Steve Assell color from 1996. So I don't even know if Steve uses it anymore. Did you use that in the week we were no. uh, using cinnabar? blind? No. Like picking blindly? I, I know, but no. I don't think we no? painted with cinnabar. No, I don't have a memory of... No. I'm trying to think of paintings. I think we used a, a Viridian for one. Maybe. Viridian, uh, dark, like a Van Dyke brown. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. And there was and a white. one that had like a and super that's a weird Samu. name. What's that? Uh, the one that had a super weird name, remember? Oh, the yellow. Yeah. Yeah. But greens, I'm trying to think of greens. Not many I of our paintings are green, no. if you think about it. No, no, no. And when they have been green, I mostly use... I've mostly used um, my bismuth yellow and um, the teal, cobalt teal, yeah. or bismuth yellow and cobalt, or bismuth and ultramarine. Yeah. So I w I thought about just putting the bismuth out, but um, I was like, no, let's let's pull out the screen. It's kind of nice, you know. It kind of makes uh, makes sense for the painting. I think it's gonna make a little sense. Well, not well. It doesn't make sense, but 
it's just a little fun. I think it's a, a funner color. Yeah. And honestly, I saw, I peeked to my right, looked Danny, and Fer did those origami. Oh, you want me to show them? Sure. <laughs> those origami. Because she was super proud. I know. Of that. And, oh, wait. No, we can take them. Oh, that's fine. Oh, because she's super proud that she learned to do uh, this. Like hearts and origami. Yeah. And um, <laughs> you know what's funny? She was in the party she went to. Or was it at school? No, I think that's this is all YouTube or like uh, TikTok or something. Like she learns everything on YouTube. No, because there's no paper like this. I here. think in her closet. No. I think we have like a block of like paper. Or maybe they did, but I don't think so. No, because I, I kind of remember that. She when, brought them with her? Yeah, she I brought a heart. And then she told you like, oh, can I have a paper? I'm going to do something for you and she did a wide heart yeah yeah like a, I, I remember the paper other one. plane yeah. yeah i'll ask her today but Maybe. you know what was funny what that these were the can we see those yeah, yeah. i think so we can. so i have the cinnabar green and the uh, viridian no, in the palette i have to take my username out for a bit because you can see oh that's fine but i had these two out because i have a hulk um figure and i buy like a ton of my figures used and Danny has seen them. Yeah, like I would say, probably more than half of them are used, mm -hmm. but they're perfect. Yeah. Like honestly, but m sometimes they're like a little no. But it's amazing how people take care of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're it's incredible. like in the original box. Yeah, people. Original packaging. Or like the perfect Every, they keep grade. Everything. Yeah, yeah. I, I throw all my boxes out. Like I have no. I have no plan no on reselling anything. Yeah, and <laughs> clearly. also there's no place to. And we don't have yeah, we don't have them. a. No, and we have like three downstairs. Yeah, of the statues. I mean, when Those we I have, have to, to take, take to my mother's house. When I we feel. have to take Christmas out. Yeah, it's a mess. We have, when to, we have take, to take like, anything out. Super big um, boxes out. Yeah, They're and it's very heavy. small, no, and it's a very. We have a small. We call them. Um, deposito. Depos depositos. But it's like, uh, um, what do you call that a, in English? Uh, Deposits. No, no, no. What is that? Um, um, oh, I forget now. The, the thing is, they're not common in like buildings in the U.S. Uh, storage? Room? Storage. Yeah, it's a storage room, but it's very small. It's like a storage closet, let's yeah. say. No, well. It's a closet. It's closet storage. size. Storage walk-in closet, that it's a, would be. It's not a walk-in closet. It is small. I, I think you're, I think you're over, like, no, dimensioning. No, because we have, a, we have an actual closet there. That's small one. Because it's very tall. And but to the other side, we have. Yeah, but it's a, not a. Like a super big box of that. Danny, and in front, another box. It would box. never be a room. No, like, an, this a is room, a closet. No, like, you could never. It's so fit. much. I don't think it would be a bathroom. I think it would be, but not Our with a shower. No, yeah. Even the bathroom that we have, like in front, I it's think, far bigger. No, I think yeah, it's, it's that larger. size. No, it's larger. We can measure it. We can okay. measure it tomorrow. Let's bet. I mean, we're betting. Like, Let's bet. Dumb uh -huh. bet, but. So. If I win, I'll I'll put your uh, username for Discord. No. Anything I want. No. Okay, That's a good bet. Well, if you want. And if and you if win, I, win, I uh, will shut up. No. For two days. No. Straight. No. Let me say what I want. <laughs> if you lose. Yeah. I want to. Yeah. Hmm. What oh do my god! I this want? is gonna take days. I want to go apartment hunting. No, no. Okay, a bet. Bet is off. I. Yeah, bet is off. <laughs> I want to. You go have. You have. Uh, Rosalind is gonna come here to um <laughs> to your birthday party to do that with you. I want to. And who who else was gonna come? Do you remember? I, f I forget. I'm so bad at uh, remembering these things. Wait, cause you're trying to distract me. But I want to, let's yeah. see. What do I want? Days. Takes days. Mm. Hmm. Okay, we can establish that later. Mm. I'm fine with going, like doing anything except the uh, apartment thing. It's COVID, still COVID. You know, it's not a good idea. Mm. I'm gonna, gonna be, think That's about gonna be it. my excuse. Uh, Cody Winicky said, ha ha ha, that's a high stakes bet. Oh no. Yeah. That's why I pulled out. <laughs> Rosalind said, I am Danny. Thank you, Rosalind. That's, I pulled out immediately. I was like, okay. No, no, wait. Cause I want to think of a good, uh, thing. Mm. 
You have all the time in the world. <laughs> I know. We can't be here silent for all the stream. I, I know, because I know you. I know you. And you would, you would try to rush yourself just to come up with something. No, that's never me. But that's if this was you, this is you. Oh. This could be the thought that invades your brain for like the whole afternoon. <laughs> For 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I am. I don't know why, but it's so hard. When I have to take like small decisions, like meaningless, because it, it's, I mean, it's a dumb bet. But uh, I don't know why it always takes me a lot. Hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> and. Rosalind said, we are doing the parade of Hum Colombia style. Haha. <laughs> yes, we are. With Arequipe, a cake, and... We got uh, bocadillos, by the way. Oh, yeah. We've been eating bocadillos with cheese. I would say I'm eating them nonstop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think you've had more than I do, than I did, than uh, I have. Uh, of course. I mean... That's why I said I, I'm eating them nonstop. You're closer to... If I was closer to them, I'd probably like attack them. You know, also... Ninja style. Without nobody like noticing. A, we have like a bad uh, thing we do. And it's that we always have open the pantry. Yeah. Like the door is always open. Yeah. And Literally it's like the right door is across, always open. Right across where I work. So if I just... Like if I'm stressed, I mean it's not I right, right across, right but it's like you know you have to cross the whole. I mean, but the whole living no, but room. But was what I was trying to say is that we have an open kitchen. Yeah, and it's like the kitchen, the living room, and then my uh, desk. So if I look to the right, even if it's far, far, yeah, I can see it's open. Like it's inviting. Like I'm stressed, and it's like waiting there. Yeah, we should with put open up. arms. We should put. Hugging me <laughs> with food. <laughs> so oh, now I come to you. <laughs> so um, I always go. And it. Yeah. Um, we should put a padlock. No, we should just close it. the door. With a padlock. No, close and, the door and that's And all. buy a dog. Yeah, it's right, right in front of it. <laughs> Chill. <Chile. sighs> and. Um, Alejandro Morales said, hello, everybody. Is Danny's birthday? No. Um, no, no, no. My birthday is on April 4. But today is Margo's birthday. So again, happy birthday, Margo. Feliz cumpleaños, Margo, de nuevo. So on April is when uh, Rosalind... Is going to come. And Hannah, was it? I want to say Hannah? No. No? I think it was uh, Roxy. Okay. So forgive us if, if we are misremembering. I think it's Roxy Tough. Yeah. They're going to show up. And maybe Robin too. Show up unannounced. Actually, anyone can. You know what? Let's open this to anyone. Yeah. You can show up unannounced. I mean, caveat here is you have to fly to Bogota. Mm -hmm. So that is a big commitment. And also show unannounced somewhere because, I mean, we're not giving the address. It's not like they're going to show here. Yeah. Just DM us. To our Instagram once you're at the We're airport. We're at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys. And uh, <laughs> we'll figure something out. Mm. And uh, you can go with Danny on the 4th to um, check out apartments. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm right. Yeah. Cody Winicky said, yeah, I thought it was the Row Rose. Yeah. <laughs> it's the Row Rose. Oh, so my God. Rosaline and Robin. You can hire a limo, like solids. a super tacky limo. My row rock solid. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm so glad not to be part of that Discord. Mm. Yeah, Rosalind said yes. It's an open party, haha. <laughs> Robin, yes, yeah. I remember Robin was in. Mm. I hope she's still in. Cause we're doing it. I think her silence is very, uh, <laughs> very telling. So. She unclicked the veil. Yeah. <laughs> Hola, Camila Ogorman. Hola, Camila. ¿Cómo estás? Uh, Marciel was asking, was saying, hey, all, what are, what are we talking about? Nicolás, no face today. Uh, there is going to be a portrait, but I feel that 
I need to make the hair look cool. So I'm giving just this bit of painting like a ton of character. Because I think I need to figure this out first and then we'll go we'll go up. So we were just saying how Danny's going to have an open party. So uh, uh, B BYOT, bring your own ticket back. Uh, <laughs> Uh, if and you want to come come here to uh, Bogota, yeah, and you would have to uh, also book um, an, a hotel, yeah, or an Airbnb, B or BYO or Air Airbnb, <laughs> yeah, um, and your own yeah. food. We so love you, but we can't have you here. But I we love you. I can come in with the cake. I would bring the cake. But oh yeah, you would have to afford. Oh, and yeah, you, you lunch, would love right? their comp. You'd love their company. Like totally invited, but not here. But, but maybe I would. Um, but you are family. Have to rain check. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, Could joking. you imagine? Hey, hey Danny, the here. four of us are here. Uh, I'm, I have like I a throat thing. Mood, yeah, know? I have like a throat thing. I'm so yeah, sorry. sorry. But I can give you guys the address to go apartment like hunting. <laughs> like, no, that I'll give would you. Be I'll send so you my mean. Excel list because I feel bad. <laughs> no, that would be so mean. But one day, one day we're going to do it. Ro Rose Ni oh Nick Dan. What? Nico don't and don't Danny. even no no. Danny, don't put me. You don't have to put me in there. There's no chance. You are there. I'm to like wave you goodbye. <laughs> Ivan dice Danny para el wash también puedes usar una cosa que se llama blending medium de Windsor Newton que hace más flexible la pintura y reduce el tiempo de secado. Ay, voy, oh. a, voy a mirarlo. Oh, so today I was checking out... Um, Did you check out the video? Yeah, not all the video. It's Because it's cause, long, I told you. No, because yeah. I was working and I was getting distracted. Okay. And it was uh, risky, let's say. Oh, it sounds weird. Yeah. No, 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 I get, I get it. It sounds weird, but it was risky. Okay, so I, I was it, like, I no, I can't do it. I have to put a podcast. Because I can't keep uh, looking. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Because also, I mean, you never see what I'm going to do. I never see what you're no, going to do. Never. But in this occasion, I think it's like, you know what I'm doing because I mean, I, of I, the sound. I'm, I've heard you work. So yeah. I, I can have, I, it's, um, it's telling. Yeah. It's not like. It was unavoidable, let's say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you don't know what I'm actually doing. No, so. I have no idea. Yeah. And I don't know if that's even the thing that I'm going to show. Okay. So that's cool. So, yeah. Because yeah. maybe we were talking about, oh, it's risky and uh, there was sound and then I show a drawing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and everyone's like, what? <laughs> yeah. But maybe some people can have a clue. I'm not going to say anything else, but... Mm. Alejandro Morales was saying, I'm wondering if someone could explain to me what a Discord channel is for. Sorry. So I'll give it a shot and first. Maybe I could uh, also... like Wikipedia? No, no, no. The answer could help me. Okay. I was going to say, because I've never had Discord. So. so usually when you're part of communities, Alejandro... Um, And Discords are usually used for, for very specific communities. So Video games? Yeah, I, I mean, they're very one. popular for video games. But you could have a Discord for anything. So um, if you're a part of a community and, you know, you've realized that you're interacting with a lot of people within the community, but maybe the place that you're usually interacting is just like, um, I don't know, let's say Twitch comments. Um You kind of have you you kind of want to have a, like another space where you can just constantly chat or just you know um, uh, just propose like new topics. It's almost like a, a forum. You know, maybe Alejandro grew up with like forums in the internet, and these these are the same. It's just a forum where the people that um, the thing that ties everyone together is the fact that we're all like painters and we ha we're hanging out. You know, while all of us are painting, so you know. It doesn't mean that all you have to talk about is painting, but if you want to talk about painting, you can just, you know, start um, 
start a thread about whatever you know it's like hey guys have you have you guys used uh stand oil because i've never used like heavy bodied oils so what's your experience with stand oil i know that sounds kind of lame but that's the stuff that i used to do 20 years ago in forums in the internet that's literally the stuff that i would talk about in forums it was like super geeky super nerdy super lame and i loved it it was it was amazing um, because we didn't have anything like Discord. So it was just uh, being part of like, uh, in my, uh, you know, 20 years ago, it was uh, like Wet Canvas had a, a, had a community. Um, Chanini Forum was a, was a forum that was uh, pretty cool too. So you could hang out in those spaces and just talk about, you could talk about, you know, technical stuff, which is what most of the topics were in the forums I used to hang out with. But you could also say, hey, are you guys, uh, could you guys recommend like a TV show? Like I, I love series that remind me of, you know, whatever, uh, Dark. Do you guys have any series that kind of feel like Dark? And um, and then, you know, people that want to hang out, they, they'll comment and, and that's it. So it's just, a, it's just a, a place where you can hang out with uh, like-minded people that, that are usually connected uh, via... Uh, whatever it is that, um, where whatever it is that they're interested. Yeah, the 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 interest led them to meet somewhere, and and that's where you kind of like coalesce. So coalesce. Yeah. I know I'm I'm like pulling out uh, no, some wordle. Well, no, wordle's helping. I think I used it well. I think so. Coalesce. I think so. Oh, stop <laughs> it. <laughs> it sounds so professional. I have. I no don't even. Th- I don't even know if I used it uh, properly, but I think I did. I mean, it sounds a little too poetic for uh, for just making no, a connection over good. the internet. But um, <laughs> Rosalind is going to correct us if we <laughs> used it uh, wrong. If it was a little too much for this. Leah said, "Imagine uh, a forum website combined with a messaging app." There we go. Perfect. And Leah said, "Thanks, Nico and Leah. I'll give it a shot." Yeah, yeah. There's no there's no commitment to it, um, Alejandro. You don't have to like. You could be a lurker. You could just. Join the um, the Discord and just look at everyone's you know messages and all the topics. You don't have to start anything. You don't like I was initially when I started uh, with those forums. I used to just lurk. I used to just look at everything and read everything. But I was a little too shy to just start a topic or something. So yeah, it was. It's very cool if you just want to hang out. Ha- yeah, but hang out passively. I would say. Yeah. Cody Winnicky said, you can even divide a channel into subgroups. For example, my friends and I have one section for gaming and one for movies and one for art. Nice. So that's cool because we could have like a a section for... Elden Ring? Because I was reading... No, no, no. Wait. Well, we I was could. reading I mean, that uh, Rosling was saying there's channels where people are sharing whip and finished nice. work. Nice. So it would be cool to have a, like a subgroup. Uh, to see what people are doing. Like if they to, want to, to put share like, something. Yeah, works in progress. Yep. Yeah, so we could have that subgroup apart from the chat. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so Rosalind was saying, there are channels where people are sharing whip and finished works. Also a place to share reference or inspiration. Yes, perfect. Or what's your favorite song right now? But I'm new. Like this is my first Discord, LOL. And Rosalind also said, perfect, Nick. Always perfect. So you used it. Correctly. Okay. Word. I mean, it, uh, it was a little too much. Robin said, sorry, tearing out a floor today. Back now. Oh, Robin, we were talking about you. Yeah. About Robin the- is always... I love how Robin, like, sorry, I was tearing out, like, my uh, linoleum. <laughs> uh, but I love that you're always, like, working. I, I'm, I'm always imagining, Robin, that there's, like, a power sander somewhere. And are you, know? you doing, like, a, a home... Oh, yeah, she's been, like... Um, yeah, she's been. Yeah, she was working on bathrooms. Are we still on bathrooms, uh, Robin, or have we moved to uh, other rooms? That would be like my dream. <laughs> I would love to have, a, like, to buy a house and to not to buy a house. That's not my dream. But if there's a house that I can uh, transform, yeah, you usually have to zero, buy it for that. I would love it. Yeah, I would love that, and I would be super involved. Oh, you like would- I think the con. Cons- Contractors. The contractors, yeah. Yeah, they would be like, oh, she again here? Yeah. Again with her overall trying to (laughs) 
sand everything. You love the uh, do it yourself things. Yeah. Like, I love it. I would totally trust that at some point in your life, if you wanted to learn power tools, like how to use power tools no, the really thing well, is that we don't have the space here. No, we don't. We don't. But let's say, you know, let's say we win the lotto. So that takes away a ton yeah. of variables. You would be the sort of, like, I don't think you would ever hire a, an interior decorator. No. It's like, no, I'm going to learn how to do this. I'm going to yeah, do it Yeah, because I like that a lot. You, you love that. And, I even and you're remember, very good at it, too. Thank you. I even remember that uh, my uncle, Yeah. Uh, he passed away and he had, he worked with wood a lot. He was a, uh industrial designer. Yep. And... He had like uh, wood tools, like oh, a yeah, cutting a board, yeah. like a lot Old of power tools. Yeah. Yep. And he uh, was living in uh, Sevilla, which is a um, town yeah. here in Colombia, but it's not near Bogota. And I remember they told me I could take the power tools. Like his workbench and everything. Yeah. Yeah. But that's he was like, enormous. oh, you can take everything before he passed away. But there was no way I could fit that anywhere. No, that that's you. You and always also, need like a super big space. For yeah, that. and also bringing them here to Bogota was like crazy expensive. Yeah, that's a whole. Um, that's a um, camión. Yeah. Yeah, you need like a y big truck for that. It's ex it's entre very países. it's expensive. It's yeah. expensive. Yeah. Yeah, and I remember, like, I had a discussion with my dad. Not like a heated discussion. Like we were talking. And he was like, I know that you would love this, but there's no place in our apartment because I was living with them. And nowadays that we live together, there's no oh, place there's no here. Oh, there's no space here either. I mean, he had a super big uh, uh, saw. Yeah. Like table saw. Yeah. And like a lot of different tools. And I think some, like some, someone there, like in the town that he was living in, uh, took them. Like maybe family related. Okay. Yeah. But I would be so happy if we could do that. Because, for example, in the United States, there's a lot of people that have that like in the... Oh, they turn their garage yeah, the into garage that or space or they they built like a shed. I would love that. Yeah, that's I mean, super cool. We had we bought a media console, but I would be so happy to be like, oh, maybe I can go to, I don't know, Home, Home Depot. And buy some wood. Oh, you would be 100% that person. And yeah. And try to build it myself. Because yeah. I love that. You you are 100% that person. Yeah. So I think you have very much so uh, Robin's uh, spirit. Let's see. Mm. Robin said, uh-oh. Yep. First one done. And to main one. Oh no, because I said we were talking about you. No, but we were talking about you because of the my birthday party that we we're gonna have apartment hunt. But I think she says she's referring to the bathrooms. No, that yeah, but because there's two different comments. Oh, okay. first uh, Robin said, "Uh oh," and then "Yep, first one done," and the main one. So that's about the bathrooms. But yeah. maybe the "Uh oh" was when I said that we were talking about. Oh me. yeah, only good things. Come on, yeah, Robin. only good always. Things. Mm, Roxana Tuff, which is uh, the person I think that said they wanted to go apartment hunting okay, with us okay, too. Okay, so, so maybe Roxana can uh, correct me because I was trying to remember and I remember her name. So maybe I'm making it up, but I think she said yes. If not, by the you're way, invited. It's a well, but by the way, it's a joke, no? You're invited. I mean, not invited, <laughs> invited. You're welcome to <laughs> visit <laughs> Colombia. <laughs> On completely unrelated matters, uh, you know, maybe it's because you want to visit around the time of Danny's birthday, but if you happen to be here, there would be a small possibility that Danny would Can want go to go hunting. apartment hunting <laughs> with you guys. Mm, so Roxana Tov said, I put myself, myself through grad school as a professional house painter and art model, LOL. Oh, nice. Yeah. That sounds awesome. Yeah, that sounds super cool. Eh, Georgio, or Georgio, 
Ávila Castillo dice, hola, soy un chico de 25 años, terminé la carrera hace 4 años y la verdad es que estoy bastante perdido. Lo he intentado con concursos de pintura, pero no he ganado ninguno. Siempre he intentado pintar todo lo que he podido. Vuestros videos me han ayudado tanto en, tanto en el inglés como en la pintura, gracias. Espero podrías guiarme un poco en este duro camino. Y eh, Georgio, ¿dónde, ¿de dónde es Georgio? ¿Georgio? Sí. Linda? G-E-O-R-Y-O -E Por eso dije que no sabía si era Georio Uy, y, o Georgio Y por favor nos, 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 dice cómo se pronuncia, nos corrige sí. si estamos pronunciando mal eh, su nombre mm, toca, Tocaría primero preguntarse que, como, qué es lo que quiere de, de la carrera O sea, como qué quisiera sacarle a la carrera porque pues hay muchas personas, yo, yo podría asumir que por ejemplo quiere mostrar su trabajo en galerías, pero eso no necesariamente es cierto para todo el mundo. Entonces, si sí si fuera cierto eso, pues lo chévere es que, digamos, no sé si Giorgio está en, en Europa. Eh, España, pero nacido en Ecuador. Dice. Ah, listo, listo. Hermano ecuatoriano. Giorgio, entonces... Como está en Europa, pues podría buscar con o sea, muchísimas galerías en Europa. Que, que digamos que no, no quiero decir que usted tenga un acceso así facilísimo a esas galerías, pero pues obviamente las tiene mucho más cerca. Eh, y es una bonita tarea. Uno empezar a buscar como esos, esos pequeños sitios donde uno puede pertenecer o donde uno siente que puede pertenecer. Entonces, eh, toca hacer como esa tarea. Y es una tarea, pues, digamos que no es una tarea menor. Y, y empezar a mostrar el portafolio en esas galerías, empezar a conocer a, a los directores de esas galerías, las directoras de esas galerías, eh, empezar a escuchar lo que le digan a uno como respuesta, esos espacios, porque pues si uno está, por eso le, le digo, uno tiene que tener claro como cuál es la dirección a la que quiere ir con, con, con su trabajo. Y, y pues si es una dirección comercial y si a uno le entusiasma ir a, a exposiciones... Ah, se pronuncia Giorgio. Ah, Giorgio. Giorgio, entonces, my name is Giorgio. Eh, <risa> <risa> ah, that funk. Uh, <risa> eh, pero, Giorgio, entonces toca empezar a hacer esa tarea. Toca empezar a hacer la tarea de mandar, eh, eh, averiguar cómo, cómo, cómo son las dinámicas... Eh, en las galerías que a uno le gustan eh, para recibir portafolios, porque todas tienen muy distintas. Hay algunas que tienen que ser físico, hay algunas que tienen que ser inicialmente digital y luego físico. Hay unas que tienen como un solo día al mes para recibir portafolios. Eh, toca empezar a hacer eso. Así le duela a uno los comentarios, así sean súper eh, como fuertes con lo que digan. Uno tiene que empezar como a, a ir tanteando y a ir eh, entendiendo cómo es que funcionan esos circuitos. Entonces toca empezar por ahí. Si eso es lo que le, le, le puede gustar. Porque un premio, le voy a decir, yo, yo me gané premios de estudiante. Dani y yo no nos hemos ganado nada después de graduados. Nada. Yo nunca me he ganado nada. Nada, yo me gané en estudiante. O pues sea, yo, me, o yo sea... me gané todo lo que me iba a ganar en la vida de estudiante. Pero premios se llamaría la... Awards. No, pues a ver. Ah, tú tuviste una tesis, un reconocimiento. Tesis eso laureada, sería... pero no sé si eso se llama No, premio. pero eso lo puedes poner en tu, en tu en hoja mi... de sí, vida sí, 100%. Sí, yo sé. Eh... Ah, no. Bruce Jiménez Peña dice, everybody calls me Giorgio. Sí. Eso era lo que estabas tratando de decir. Tu, tu... Sí, pero puse my name is Giorgio. ¿Puse? Pusiste en Puse en ¿Puse lo tagué. Sí. <risa> Puse el anime. Eh... Pero bueno, esa, esa sería mi... Giorgio, esa sería mi, mi sugerencia. Pienso que es como la más... Eh, la más sensata. Porque es que premios, pues uno le puede tratar de atinar a resto de premios y no ganarse nada en la vida, entonces... Pero Giorgio dice, ¿Mm? ¿pero de verdad crees que hay sitio para casi todos en esas galerías? Mis experiencias con las galerías ha sido como que se mofaran de uno. Sí, son detestables, o sea, muchas galerías son así. Yo, yo, eh, Giorgio tiene ¿cuánto? ¿25? Sí. Yo llegué aquí más o menos de esa edad, cuando me devolví, y yo le he contado a Dani, le he contado a todo el mundo que me pasé por toda Bogotá. Y 
Sí. Y no hacían sino burlarse de mí porque yo no tenía sí, idea. Decir, te cerraron las puertas pero ni todo, siquiera te o las sea, abrían. No, y había o gente sea... que ni siquiera me daba, o sea, asistentes eh, en las galerías que ni siquiera me dejaban hablar con los directores, los curadores, con nadie. O sea, eran como, <ríe> como este chino imbécil, ¿qué le pasa? O sea, eh, by the way, nosotros chino le decimos a, a un pelado, a alguien pequeño, ah, sí, a un joven. joven. Sí, 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 perdón. Por si suena extraño para, para alguien que no conozca como, como nuestros, eh, nuestros dichos, nuestras expresiones. Pero, pero no, entonces... O sea, uno tiene que pasar por esas. Ese mundo es súper cruel, es súper duro. Pero toca pasar por esas, Giorgio. No hay, no hay... O sea, no hay manera de evadirlo. Tristemente. La única manera, ¿sabe cuál es? Giorgio, que por ejemplo, Dani y yo conocemos personas. Es teniendo como familiares o amigos, dueños de galerías. O, sí. o sea, gente repoderosa que uno conoce. Pero, pero igual si usted es muy... como nosotros que no, pues a uno le toca como la gente normal. Y es tratando, probando... Y, y pasando por, por mil personas que se comportan como idiotas para llegar a esas personas que sí son como compasivas y que quieren darle a uno una oportunidad. Pero no hay de otra manera, Giorgio. Esa es la parte donde uno dice, uy, me toca, como decimos, de pronto usted también como ecuatoriano a los latinos, como coger cuero, por, o sea, hacer que esos comentarios como que no nos hieran, porque, porque es la única forma de crecer en ese sentido. Robin said... We bought a 1952 house five years ago as an exit strategy from Miami, tore out everything, and have been slowly building it back up. Fortunately, Bob knows how to do everything. I enjoy a uh, demo, and p and I'm picking about dust, so I'm in charge of spackle and safety. Love it. And Robin also said, oh yeah, bus rented yet? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna rent a uh, Chiwa. <laughs> to make it more Colombian. Yeah. Which by the way it's like a a jeep transformed into a party bus. It's like a 1952 party bus. It Just to go with the 1952 theme. But more rural. It, it looks more oh, like yeah. a oh, rural yeah. party bus. Yeah. So it's a 1952 open. Iowa party <laughs> bus. So let me show you what a chiva is. What a what a chiva is. What a chiva is. <laughs> I... So, Robin, have you ever seen uh, Money Pit? That um, what's uh, what, who are they? I mean, it's Tom Hanks and um, Shelley, not Shelley Duvall, Shelley Long. What is it? who's that actress? Shelley, the um, I don't know what you're saying. Uh, Shelley Long. Yeah, it's a it's a hilarious movie, Danny. It's called Money Pit. And it's this couple that buy a house and they have mm -hmm. to, like, you know, tear down the house. because It's a beautiful house, but they have to, like, redo everything. Mm -hmm. And it is hilarious. So I don't know if Robin is at a money pit stage uh, still or... Um, Robin said Shelley Long. Shelley Long. It, I love that movie. So good. So uh, for my row rows oh, to get excited... Row Oh my uh, God. This is a chiva. <laughs> it's there on the screen. That's going to be our party bus. Robin said, yes, that was my house in Miami. <laughs> mm. Didi was saying, Nicolás. Yes. If I can ask an off-topic question. Oh, please. I had heard... You like geek culture. Yes. Are you excited for the release of Elden Ring? Oh, my God. Who is this? Didi. Didi. I've played every Souls game. I've played Demon Souls on the PS3. Um, I didn't finish Demon Souls because I played it blind. I had no idea what I was playing. No idea. So I specced really weird and I... I I had like a lightning lance, I remember, but I, I didn't know what I was doing. I had no clue that these sort of games existed. So, but then after that, yeah, Dark Souls 1 and 2, I finished. I loved them. Um, Dark Souls 3, I remember I played like, I played a ton of it. I must have played like 80 hours of it, but I didn't finish it. Uh, I, I finished Bloodborne, obviously. And Sekiro, I didn't finish it, but I really liked it. 
But you know what it you know what's the thing about me? I'm not like a super good player. I'll be totally honest with you. What I usually do is just I'll grind and I'll be like over leveled all the time. Like I'm I'm always trying to grind as much as I can to be like a little tanky so that I don't die as easy because I'm not that good. Um, and I can summon the crap out of everything. Like, if you give me a chance for somebody else to help me out, I'll take it. Like, I will so take it. Um, I did buy Demon Souls again for the PS5. And I am... How many hours I'm in? Like, I play it off and on because I remember a lot of stuff. But I'm playing it better right now. And I, I think I'm 25 hours in... I'm playing like super solid, just very slow. Um, but yeah, I love Souls games. I absolutely adore Souls games. I, I think they are something else. But I'm not a good gamer. I'm not talented. I mean, I say that and then pe if people hear me say that I finished like a bunch of them, people would say, oh, come on, dude, you can't be that bad. But I am. Like compared to like people that are super, super talented in, in Souls games, I'm not. I am 100% not. I just like them. I just like that feeling of being nervous all the time. So, oh, dude, if if this wasn't my job, I would take like three weeks off to just play that game. Like, I would turn off everything and just play that game. It would consume me. It, it's that good. So, yes. William Felipe dice, hola, ya me uní a Discord, el canal está genial, ya está súper organizado con Rooms, solo faltan ustedes, también hay un Room de Martes de Español, jaja. <laughs> What? Ay, qué chévere, Muy bien. toca mirar, toca mirar, toca meternos. Sí, sí, sí. Yo tengo que cogerle el tiro. O como yo digo. El tino, asprilla. <laughs> no, tú no dices el tino, asprilla, el no. tino. gracias. Ah... Uh, So when I was showing the Chiwa, yeah. Roslyn said, party, perfect, Danny. Oh, my God. And They're going to show up drunk. Robin you know said, Roslyn, yes. They're going to show up drunk, all of them. I, but drunk you know at the airport. You know what's the problem now that I'm thinking about it? What's that? Imagine we going house hunting. Yeah, with like a with bunch a, of drunk in Americans. In Chiva. I mean, <laughs> if I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm here to see the house. Yeah. And I'm parking at Chiva. Yeah. Like, Cops would show up like they're not opening the house. Like, nah, but if I like, couldn't get in. If like the first thing you said is like, no, 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 we're, I'm just here with my American friends, and we're just like, uh, you know, people will understand. I feel. <laughs> and, Danny, like, take a second. Do you think nobody in Colombia has done that? I think there are in people Achiva. That, I think there's no. I, I think, think there's people never. that have done that. No, I, I think no. Roxana Top said, ha, 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 I love the look on Danny's face. Well, she's listening to you talk about taking a few weeks off to play video games. What face did I do? <laughs> I don't know. It was probably very telling. No, maybe I was like smiling. No, can I be honest? Like I would love. Like, like, like if, if we had, again, if we had won the lotto. We had money, commodity to do that. And I, and I would tell Danny, Danny, the next three weeks. I know, like, I love you, and we're going to spend time together for sure, but I love these games, and they don't no, come often. I would often. never be against it. No, like, no, Like, no. I would cheer you. No, Danny, like, Danny's the sort like, of person oh. that goes, like, uh, if I'm playing, she'll be fine. Like, the one thing that she wouldn't like is that if I stopped talking to her, like, I said, like, you know, I'm, I'm just going to be in my room, like, you know, 24 hours a day. I would even no. go to the room and But be Danny's with you. But Danny's the person that sits down and goes like, oh, I'll watch you play for like an hour or like two hours. Like even yesterday, I ended um, the response. No, I didn't end it. I ended the session I had. Yeah. And I went to the room and you were playing a car game. Yeah. I don't know the name. I think that one's Dirt. Yeah. Okay. And you were playing that. And But I was I like getting ready for bed. And I was looking at you and I was like, how are you doing? And you were like, no, I'm never gonna I never pass them too. Because you were in third place. Yeah. And something happened and you made a turn. Yeah. And you you just went first. And I was like super, like I couldn't even, because I was, I think I was like folding my clothes. I couldn't do anything until the race was over because I was like super hooked. 
with the game. It was a good race. It's um, I've never played that game. I, I was going to tell you yesterday. I used to play. That um, I would like to try it. I, yeah, you should. I but, used to play But that's uh, why I asked GTA. you. I asked you if it was like um, like it's if you were in a competition, because I would lower your. Oh no, no, don't. Uh, who cares? No. Yeah, like can, I would like to try it, but like in. You can redo the races. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because if it's like uh, like you have to play like a sort of uh adventure. You do, but it's fine. Like I just started yesterday. It's okay. one of those so games that's like free it. with like uh PSN uh, with the PS Plus. So I was I hadn't tried it and I was like, oh, I'm going to try it. And um no, no, it's fine. Roxana Tov said it was like the blank stare with a bit of smirk. <laughs> What's smirk? Like like una, una como una sonrisita. Maybe I was like mm. uh like this, look. Alentándote. Mm. How do I say alentando? Um, like I was cheering, cheering me you. on. Yeah. No, cheering you up, not on. Or cheering on. me on is like go, go, go. Cheering, cheering me up. up is like, oh my god, go, I'm down. Go, not, if you cheer me up, it's because I'm sad. If you cheer me on, it's like <gasps> I'm, a, I'm in a competition and you're like, go, Nicholas. Oh, I had no idea. Yeah. I was. I always say like I'm cheering up my team. <laughs> oh no, that means that they're depressed. <laughs> <Okay>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for that. Um. Uh, Alejandro Morales said, Liad, I have spent the last 10 minutes trying to get into the F Discord app, but cat CAPTCHA is a dead end. What? <laughs> Ay, Alejandro. Alejandro, if you do Are it to you your phone. Are you trying it to your phone? Yeah, because you can download the app. That's what Nicolas did, and it was like super easy. Mm. Cody Winicky said, Liat, I just used the link. Thanks for setting that up. So, yeah, the link is here. Let me... I'm going to paste it here again. Oh, no, that's not... Mm, let's see. Here, no. <laughs> here it is. Because I had... Uh, like my cop... The thing I had copied was a... Baldomero Romero Rosendi. Resendi. Ros Resendi. Rosero. Rosero. Rosario. Rosero riendo. <laughs> Baldomero <laughs> so García Márquez. <laughs> Inside joke. Um, Alejandro Morales said, that's what I did, but the phone is asking for CAPTCHA. Um... Did you get a, a text message sent to you, Alejandro? Yuan said, so Alejandro maybe is not a human. <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah. I'm not a robot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that's why Callum can't do... Um, yeah, Vishriya said, oh my God, Callum part two. <laughs> um, we are surrounded by bots. We knew it. <laughs> Jaime Santiago dice, Sekiro, Dark Souls, son bien difíciles. Sí, pero, pero no soy, o sea, la verdad yo no soy tan bueno jugando. Lo que pasa es que he jugado toda mi vida juegos, pero, pero no, quisiera ser mucho mejor, mucho, mucho mejor. O sea, cuando nosotros jugamos Cophead con Dani, o sea, la verdad, Dani me arrastró en ese juego. Yo no, era como tampoco. un ancla. Tampoco. Sí, pero, pero obviamente... Porque, a ver, yo también siento que... Voy a decir que algo, mira, y termino. Gap muy grande. Pero voy a decir algo de y, ter y termino y si quieres eh, sigues, porfa. A ver. Si yo hubiera jugado Cophead, yo no acabo Cophead. Pero porque te frustras. Si tú hubieras jugado Cophead, 100% hubiera lo hubieras acabado. Sí. Lo hubieras acabado todo. O sea, 100% estoy sí. seguro de eso. Y yo sé que yo hubiera llegado a un punto donde digo, esto es muy difícil. O sea, esto es muy difícil para Pero mí. Pero creo que es porque en ese sentido tú te estresas más que yo. O sea, si tú juegas, si, Uf, creo que se cayó algo. En no, el están como, no, 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 están. Eh, si estamos jugando y llevamos un día jugando, o sea, cuatro horas jugando. Sí. Y al día siguiente empezamos y seguimos igual, tú dices ya no más. Ya, esto es lo peor, ya no quiero, hagamos otra cosa. Yo soy de las personas que sí. puede durar siete días. Jugando sí. siete horas de siete días lo mismo y es como que no me frustro. Sí, eres, eres especial eso. en eso. Sí. O sea, me frustro, es como, ay, vamos que yo puedo, pero 
no es como que quiera dejar de jugar por eso. Nunca. Yo tengo un punto de quiebre, sí, es verdad. Sí, sí tú eres como, ¡ah, ya no más! Ya o sea, yo puedo jugar play. contra como Porque un jefe. Porque tú eres súper tranquilo siempre. Contra un boss, jugando... puedo jugar como, o sea, dos horas máximo. Tratar y morirme y tratar sí. y morirme. Porque yo me acuerdo que tú en Tú puedes Cuphead... jugar como dos semanas. Sí, hasta por eso. Que lo pasas. Y en Cophead tú eras como, no, ya, es que no puedo, no puedo. Y yo era, pero inténtalo, es que no puedo, es que no puedo. Y yo era, pero ¿por qué se estresa tanto? Entonces es muy curioso porque de verdad tú en la vida eres muy tranquilo. Sí, eh, pero, pero con juegos... esas cosas de videojuegos es como, no, ya, no puedo y no voy a acabar, y punto. Sí, eh, eso y el... fútbol me despierta un animal que hay en mí terrible. Pero yo en fútbol también grito resto. Sí, tú Uy. no eres tan grosera, eso es pero bueno. Pero es que yo nunca soy grosera en mi vida, sí, o es sea, verdad. esa es la cosa, o sea, sí, es verdad. yo nunca, tú a mí nunca me oyes con groserías. No, es verdad, es verdad. Como que eso muy yo no digna. lo tengo en mí. Muy digna. Muy digna. Eh, Jaime Santiago dice... Ah, pero espera. Pero hablando de fútbol, yo igual me estreso terrible. Ah, no, de, de estresarse uno se sí, estresa. Sí, o sea, yo creo que nuestros vecinos siempre son... No, sí, ay, que nos no jodan. ¡Ay, vamos! ¡Ah! Sí, que, no, oh, que no jodan. Es... Sí, que no jodan. Sí, no. Nunca para han fu jodido. Para fu sí, la verdad, este edificio es como santos todos. Sí. Eh, Jaime Santiago dice... Uj, es que no sé cómo se leer. Uj, yo, no, uhhhh. Uf, uf. Uf. Yo quiero jugar uno que se llama It Takes Two. De pronto les gustaría. Perdón, ya no lo acabamos, ¿cómo? obviamente. Lo jugamos y lo acabamos. Sí, y nos la verdad, encantó. la historia fatal. Sí. O sea, chao, gracias, hasta luego. No, pero pésimo. la animación es muy linda. Es bonito. Visualmente es Lo una que chimba. pasa es que es como. Como que perpetúan la idea de que la familia tiene que ser. Eh, es como pelea por tu familia. Sí, es como... No, fatal. Sí, fatal, pero el juego o sea... es muy chévere y nos gustó mucho. No, no, yo decía no. Pero nos gustó, a mí me pareció. El juego, era... obviamente, hicimos casi... Yo creo que cogimos casi todo en ¿Todo? ese juego. Mm. Yo creo que todo. Mm. Y en ese juego me di cuenta, hay una parte sí. en la que uno tiene que jugar como si fuera un... Ay, ¿Cómo es que se llama eso? FPS, como no, disparar, el de, la de no, disparar. El de bailar. Ah, como Dance de, Dance DDR. Como un DDR, sí. No, sí, porque así, no sí, es Dance sí. Dance Revolution. Pero es la manera como uno entiende esos juegos, pues. Sí, o los que son como piano tiles, era lo que iba a decir. Sí. Porque es así con música. Y me di cuenta que sí hay, porque Nicolás es bueno en los videojuegos. Pero si toca eso. No, mi cerebro no, no está hecho para. Yo, eso. en cambio, siento que soy súper rápida con eso. ¿O te acuerdas cuando hicimos. Eh, Rock Band, una vez como... Ah, sí. No. En, en Disney. Sí, no, no puedo. No, mi cerebro... Yo nunca jugué Rock Band. Sí, yo sí soy buena pero, con eso. O, o sea, sea, yo en Piano Tiles soy muy buena. Que mi, que mi cerebro le mande como señales a mis dedos de que ahora toca este, ahora toca este. No, ahora y además los dedos se te ponen tiesísimos. Su sí, o sea, sudo, tú sudo. En, en Rock Band allá con la guitarra que jugamos no. en el arcade, tú eras pegándole a las teclas, o sea, tus dedos eran como Terminó, piedras. Sí. No, 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 sí. claramente no está, no, no es... Sí, Algo en sí, mi cerebro claro. estaba... Y me acuerdo que decías que era porque la guitarra no, era hecha, no estaba hecha para tu tamaño y yo qué, ¿te acuerdas? Yo de pronto dije cualquier... cualquier eso suena cosa. a cualquier cosa. Y sí, de pronto porque me dijiste, dije pero es que tú cosa. cómo la estás cogiendo. Y yo, pues así. Es que esa guitarra no está hecha para mi tamaño. De y pronto... luego entró un niño como de seis años con el papá gigante y los dos jugando súper bien. Bueno, ya no, no, no tenemos que hablar excusa. de eso, por favor, Dani. Ay, Giorgio dice, yo terminé ayer Dead Rising y es un gran juego. Increíble. Yo no he sido mucho de, de esos. Yo nunca había jugado esos. Yo juego es más como de aventura. Eh, me gusta. Ahorita estaba jugando Horizon. Pero estaba... Y, y por ejemplo me fascina God of War. Lo había, lo había jugado en el Play, pero lo, lo jugué otra vez en el PC. Esos juegos me fascinan. Mm, ¿Qué juegos me encantan? Pues los que jugamos con Dani. A nosotros nos encanta sí. jugar juntos. Sí, sí, Entonces, sí. si podemos jugar juntos algo, es re chévere. Y juntos no tiene que ser... O sea, es chévere cuando los dos podemos jugar en un control, como sí, cada sí. uno como un sí. jugador. no tiene que ser como co pero a veces, así. Exacto, pero a veces nos turnamos el, el control. Estábamos, sí. Creo que el último que jugamos fue Little Nightmares. Sí, ¿no? chévere, chévere. Se fue muy muy chévere. chévere. 
Eh, también Sackboy nos encantó. Ese nos encantó. Esos son Tuvimos chéveres. una temporada hace, hace un tiempo, pues Ay, ya larguito, ya. de Mario Kart. Uf. O sea, terminamos todo, ganamos todas las en todos pistas. Los, en todos los CCs. Sí. Estamos Ganamos en... todo, todo. Tres estrellas, ¿eh? Sí, te, tres es que es. No me acuerdo. Pero, en pero todo fue muy ya chévere. Tenemos al máximo. Ese sí. fue, ese fue súper chévere. Porque los dos, en ese sí me sentía, tú eres muy buena, pero yo también creo que soy sí. bueno en Mario Kart. Debo decir que tú por un tiempo usaste mi combinación de jugadores y carros, pero todo está perfecto, todo es válido. Bueno, si quieres crédito, pues todo bien. No, no pasa porque nada. yo dije, ay, es mi combinación. Y después cambiaste por un jugador distinto. Sí. Y seguías bien, y yo dije, ah, no, no es la combinación. Es que Nicolás... No, pero para ciertas bueno. pistas toca... Es, es, es distinto. Es casi que es necesario que cambiar. Necesita... Sí, sí, sí. Porque nosotros en las que son de 50 cc siempre hacemos como súper liviano. Oye, ¿y te acuerdas que hace poquito volvimos a, toda... a tratar de manejar en 200? Y éramos como, no, esto no, quién éramos, maneja. No, éramos, salí... Pero, pero yo creo que ahí la embarramos porque a eso era lo que iba. Cuando nosotros jugamos en la de 200, toca con un jugador más pesado. Porque sí, si no, las curvas no puedes derrapar bien. No, y si tú no haces sí, todo derrapando, sí, no, no logras no teníamos los, los No teníamos los reflejos. O sea, eso toca jugarlo una semana seguida como para acordarse uno de los reflejos. Y de, Pero yo creo y que además podemos. uno se tiene que memorizar las pistas. Yo creo que podemos. ¿Tú sabes que van a sacar pistas nuevas? Pues pistas viejas, pero What? van a sacar como... Yo no me acuerdo como... Las necesitamos. <ríe> como durante dos años, creo que es, o un año, van a sacar como... 48 pistas nuevas, una cosa así. No, pues ya. <risa> Volvimos a caer. Nos toca es eso, our, transmitir eso. Our Todavía no hemos explorado nuestro our lado gamer. Cars. Sí. Eh, cards. No sé. Eh, <risa> Grande. Eh, Giorgio dice, yo tengo la manía de intentar conseguir todos los trofeos. Uy. Nosotros en, en Mario Kart hemos... cogimos todos los trofeos. No, pues es que trofeos no hay en... Eh... Sí, pues todos los... Ah, bueno, es que trofeos todos. es como lo que hicimos ah, en, en el único juego que, que hemos cogido todo. En Bob Esponja. Sí. En Sackboy cogimos muchos. Muchísimos. Pero no, nos faltaron pero es que como ese... dos disfraces. ¿Y ese del final que toca hacer? Chao. No, no es el del final porque, o sea, lo acabamos, sino hay unos que son como unas carreras de obstáculos, como sí. run, ¿cómo se llaman esos? Un runner. No, eh, no, es que no sé. Sí, bueno. Hay unos que son unas carreras y uno va haciendo y se va ganando cosas. Pero al final tiene uno que hacer una donde unen todas esas pistas y tiene uno que correr todos esos obstáculos sin morirse. Y en un tiempo loquísimo. Y, y uno se muere con dos gol con dos... Uno solo se puede pegar dos veces. Entonces Incluso es... a veces solo una, porque depende del golpe, acuérdate. No, no, ah, bueno, si lo tumban a uno, pues sí, uh -huh. es solo uno, pero... No, y nosotros cuando nos dimos cuenta de ese, fuimos como, no, gracias. Tú. Acuérdate no, yo olvídate. Te dije, yo te dije que yo quería. No. Si y tú, tú quieres, me dijiste... Ahí, yo te dije, ahí está, pero... Uy, sí. no, chao. No, yo no sí... pero es que ¿saben qué es el problema? Fue la primera vez que me di cuenta que me estaba dando taquicardia terrible jugando, porque me como que me tensionaba mucho... Y no sé si eso sea tan sano <risa> O sea, como que sentía las palpitaciones en la garganta Y no sé si eso sea tan bueno Entonces dije, no De pronto ya es momento de parar Sí, pero todavía no hemos explorado el lado del canal gamer Lindita Yo creo que seríamos buenos Yo tengo un lado muy gamer Competitivo Porque yo tuve un tiempo de mucho De ausencia De juegos Sí Y una vez volví Acá me quedé. Volviste con todas, sí. sí. Volví a quedarme, sí. Todavía tengo que aprender a manejar la multicámara. Pues no se dice multicámara, pero bueno, esto ya la es muy cámara del La joystick, cámara del joystick, sí. como yo le digo que a ti te molesta. Sí, eh, la cámara, toda te la cuesta multicámara. un poquito. La multicámara. No, multicámara no es. No, pero depende. Hay algunos juegos donde soy mejor. Tú eres... Digamos en el de, el de Crash había cámara, en el de carros. Pero la cámara no es tan... O sea, no es como moverse en un mundo Pero 3D. Pero en ese yo era mejor Es que tú eres... Con me la cámara. Todo lo que tenga que ver con reflejos, tú obviamente tienes mil veces más reflejos que yo. O sea, impresionante. Yo literalmente... O sea... Pero si así es como, multi... <risas> Así como me duele el hombro y a veces me duele la espalda, me duele el codo, la muñeca, yo creo que mis neuronas 
también son como van a esa velocidad. No, porque ahí o sea, estás tú pasas diciendo, ahí, ¡pum! estás diciendo ¡pum! que tú pasas. No es que yo tenga más capacidad, sino que soy más joven. Eh, y eso no creo que sea así. Es yo siempre, creo que perdón, pero si es 100% tú de cierto. mi edad, yo no, igual sería mejor. No, en, yo... no, pero si tú fueras de mi edad, yo sería mejor en en esos juegos. A mí no me gustan los <ríe> supuestos. <ríe> A mí no me gusta Pero pues es para que me, me des el triunfo, porque acaso lo me estás diciendo que por... ¿Triunfos robados o qué? Bueno, triunfos robados con toda y no. Mm, eh, yo yo creo, creo que si tú fueras de mi edad, igual en Piano Tiles se te encalambrarían los Yo dedos. creo que siempre iba a ser malo en eso. <risa> por eso. Yo eso creo que hay una que razón por la que instintivamente yo nunca jugué... Eh, yo nunca jugué Rock Band. ¿Tú has visto ese meme de todos los, eh, todos los niñitos que están haciendo dabs? Que están dab? como... ¿Dab? No, mi amor. No, empecemos. <risa> Un dab, dab. La co... Es que no puedo porque... Dab, mi amor. Uh, uh. Es así. Por eso, ah, es que ya. no puedo. No, pero es que... Ojalá ay, estuvieran no. viendo a Nicolás, estaba haciendo ay, así. Ay. Yo dije no, que... ahora tratando de salvarse, la de no, que es un dab. Salserín con muchos... La de que, ahí, la de que es que un dab. Bueno, Uy, que es un dab y está tratando de salvarse allá. Que... Eh, ¿Nunca has visto ese meme? No, que son ¿cuál? todos... Que son todos eh, un poco de niñitos y de repente viene un niñito que uno sabe que uno dice, no, este niño no, o sea... Ah, que salen en fila. Sí, todos sí, haciendo todos, sí. Que es como un cumpleaños y de pronto un papá les dice, vengan, vengan y todos Ese hagan un dab. tú en, en Dance Dance Revolution. Yo creo que todos están... Y yo hago mi dab de niño, sí. <risa> del niño blanco haciendo su dab. Yo soy ese niño en, en DDR. O en rock band. Yo decía, sí. todo el mundo tocando, la, o sea, la batería, la guitarra, todo el mundo embalado. Y como, venga, Nicolás, juegue. Y yo... Oh. Pero yo también soy ese niño cuando es la multicámara de moverla mucho. Todavía le sigues diciendo multicámara, sí, no, sé, no sé por qué. Siempre. Pero sí, o sea, yo soy como... Eh, o sea, jugamos eso. Ya. Y a veces es como, hay algo de mucha acción. Y mi cámara es como así, o sea, te pones muy nerviosa. Para todos lados. Sí. sí, te pones nerviosa con. Sí, eh... tú eres como la cámara y yo, déjame. Que Empieza. Que estoy sí, haciendo. Pero tú tampoco entiendes lo que es verte jugar. Digamos, Uno de ay, espectador. No, ¿sabes cuál Viéndote fue el que jugar jugamos? con esa cámara. Mira, me tengo que tomar dos mareol. <risa> dos mareol porque me vomito. Ay, porque se me olvidó. Me vomito. Es, 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 el que era como un lobito, zorrito. ¿Qué? Ahí, que va por todos los mundos. Ah, Ratchet. Ratchet. Sí. Ratchet y Clank, sí. Jugando Ratchet, no. ya después era buena. Sí. sí. Pero la primera semana jugando, Uy, era asco. como, preciso, nosotros nos turnábamos el control y era, eh, bueno, te toca. Y siempre me tocaba cuando había un jefe. Y no era solo un jefe, como, sino como jefe con mini jefes alrededor. Mi cámara era solo mirando al cielo. No, todo, <risa> todo era el cielo. Yo, yo que me vomito. Disparando a todo lado. Además, como hay como un shortcut para cambiar de arma. No, no, sí. Espichabas pausa, pausa, terminabas espichando pausa. En el menú, no, apagaba no. el play, sí. Sí, no. Sí, Se iba la ya. luz en la casa, no sé por qué. Sí. Pero ya, ya mejor. Eh, mi prima dice Dance Dance Revolution era lo nuestro. Sí, nosotros teníamos el tapete. Nosotros mm. le decíamos jugar tapete. Y mi hermana era muy viva y mi hermana cogía el control. Yo te he contado que ella sí. decía como que ella jugaba en control y que el que perdiera tenía que otra persona, otro primo entrar a jugar. Entonces uno era sudando ahí dándole en el tapete y ella era así. O sea, ni una gota de sudor jugando. <risa> no. Porque además es muy fácil porque uno pone con el dedo gordo como la yema y esta parte. Sí. Como la articulación y la yema de los dos dedos. Y así es súper fácil de tener los cuatro botones. Y, uy, eso era lo nuestro. Y en control yo era buenísima con ese. No, yo no... Era muy nunca, buena. Nunca pude eso. Mi prima de pronto se acuerda, pero mi favorito. Nunca me supe el nombre, pero era la canción. Yo siempre decía que yo quería jugar bebé en peloto. Porque había un bebito como así bailando. Sí, como el de, a, canción. el de Ali McBeal. Y sí, es ese era... Yo era buenísima en ese. O sea, era que a, apenas hacía el combo, sí. nunca perdíamos. O sea, nunca lo teníamos ni en, ni en A, ni en B, sino todo en S. Muy bien. Tiempos aquellos de reflejos increíbles. So, let's see what they're saying. <risa> <risa> uh, 
fairy sketches said I can't understand your language but really but I really like the female's voice oh thank you she has a she has a nicer voice uh oh and Bishri also said I'm really fond of Danny's voice too. Oh, that's super nice. I've never heard uh, Anyone good things not be about annoyed my by voice. The, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I don't think it's like a super um, cool voice. To it hear. is wonderful. You think it is? I think it's... I think so. Oh, but no, that's nice. It makes me feel nice. Thank you. Eh, Giorgio dice, sois adorables. Muchas gracias, Giorgio. Buen uso de sois, eh, Giorgio. Eh, ¿Cómo así? Pues es que, pues Giorgio es ecuatoriano. Pero, pero entonces imagínate un colombiano. No, pero tú no sabes por qué dijo nacido. Yo sé. Uno pero no sabe. O sea, tú eres nacido en Wins Wisconsin. En Wisconsin <risa> y dices dude. Y tú, y tú nunca. O sea, <risa> tú te sientes desde acá. Sí. Tú tienes acento de acá, todo de acá. Todo. Mi prima dice, jajaja, ja, ja, sí, bebé en peloto, jajaja. Ja, ja. Pero no me acuerdo el nombre de la canción. No, yo tampoco. Y es que no era en inglés ni en español. ¿Cómo? Era ¿De coreana o japonesa? Sí, yo creo. Yo creo. Me acuerdo que era... No, pues... Así. Alguien ahí, ahí, Giorgio te va a ayudar. Alguien te puede ayudar. Sí, era chévere. Y era... Me acuerdo que el fondo era eh, naranja. Es que era mi favorita. Qué buenos tiempos aquellos. Mm. Aunque me acuerdo que... Al final, en el tapete, yo no sé si estaba dañado o de como pronto. que se... Sí, como que se dañó un poquito uno mm. de los botones y entonces uno era pegándole así durísimo porque... Pues de todo lo que le cascaban, seguramente. No, pues es que uno saltando en eso. Sí, no, es que eso se necesita, esa vaina industrial, mega industrial, para que no, no se dañe. Pero yo una vez intenté jugar en los de... como arcade de centro comercial. Sí. Es durísimo. Sí. No pude. Yo no entiendo, esa gente para mí es especial, Son esa gente. Increíbles. Sí. O sea, yo ese, una vez vi en Cedritos. <risa> ese es un vacío en mi vida, por ejemplo. Yo nunca sabía que eso era algo chévere o popular. Hay nunca. competencias de eso, nosotros vimos una, ¿te acuerdas? Sí, sí, vimos un video... Que son unos duros, o sea... Sí, no, pues es otra cosa. Pero yo no, no sé cómo el, el, el cerebro va tan rápido, no entiendo, no, nunca yo entenderé. me acuerdo, yo dije, ay, qué chévere, nosotros jugamos eso, podemos... Eh, pues puedo intentar en, en el centro comercial, no. O sea, le tenía como que pegar durísimo con los pies y yo que soy chiquitica. O sea, yo ahí tratando de pegarle y nada, perdí mi token. Ahí. <ríe> no me sirvió de nada. Lo hubiera gastado en hockey de mesa, que es mi favorito. ¿Cuál es el tuyo? ¿Como de un arcade? Sí. Es que la, la noción mía de arcade es tan distinta. Uy, yo ¿sabes? jugaba a juegos. Cuando hace, yo era chiquito. Hace un tiempo estuvimos en un centro comercial jugando uh -huh. y estaba, estábamos con Samu y Fer. Sí. ¿Y te acuerdas que entramos a uno de zombies? Sí, Que sí. yo fui buena. ¿Como Walking Dead? ¿No The era Walking, o algo así? No, sí, era de The Walking Dead, sí. sí. Ese me gustó. Sí, o sea, de esos así estaban chéveres. Ese estaba sí, chévere. De disparar. <ríe> yo digo que... Samu y Fer, pero acaben ya. Sí. Nosotros, Chito. Sí. Ahí jugando, sí, sí, sí. Yo digo que en la mía, mi, mi escopeta, mi. Estaba dañada. Estaba mala. Siempre estaba mala. dices eso. Sí, yo, a mí me tocó una mala. Uh -huh. <risa> eh, Alejandro Morales dice: ¿Cuál es la paleta de hoy, Nicolás? Eh, voy a contestar en inglés si no le molesta a Alejandro. So, today's palette is kind of. Alejandro is asking about today's palette. It's kind of a different one, weird one, because. Uh, not many of the colors that I'm using for this background are having like a, a very mm, noticeable effect on the rest of the colors that I'm using for the uh, rest of the painting. So the let's say the alien colors that I'm I'm introducing that I seldom use um, are bismuth yellow, which I actually do use when I want to expand my palette, when I want to have like a, an expanded um Hue range, specifically in my yellows, I've often spoken about how I feel co totally comfortable with yellow ochre being my sole yellow. But if I want to uh, broaden it a little bit, I'll use um, bismuth yellow. And the very strange one today has to be uh, cinnabar green light. 
Cinnabar green. Um, it's actually made of cadmium, if I'm not mistaken. Do you want me to check it? No, or I'm maybe no, no, no. Cinnabar green actually, or has cinnabar. The thing is, it's one of those. No, because there's there's a cadmium green also, but cinnabar is also like a heavy metal, if I'm not mistaken. It's one of those metal, like heavy metal pigments, um, older pigments. I don't think if I don't think there's a ton of places that has that have this um, this particular color. Um, I still have some from when I studied. So mind you, like 25 years ago. Uh, and I bought like a used tube, it, like a really old kind of funky tube that was in discount. That was discounted when I went to do a workshop in Madrid, in Spain. Oh, it, it, yeah, it says it has cadmium yellow. Okay. So, yeah. So, so it's not a color that's very common. It's a kind of nice earthy, uh, rich uh, uh, green. It's very, very specific. The only reason I use it, the only reason I use it is because Steve Assel used it. Because I think Max was using permanent green, I, I feel. I, I, I forget. Or maybe he was using cinnabar green light and cinnabar green dark. I remember it was very popular when I was painting, particularly in school, for mid-tones. So... Max, for example, no, 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 Max used it too. Or what, or did he not? Or I don't know. But if you mix this with reds, it's a very nice kind of um, mid-tone. It's not quite a neutral mid-tone. So it's not, it's not quite um, complementary colors just canceling each other out perfectly. No, not really, because they, they have like different characters. So y you won't get a, a, a really nice neutral out of them, but you do gray them down quite a bit. So... It's a nice kind of rich, um, again, not neutral, but a yes, a a more you know grayer version of a, of that green or that red, which is very very nice. It's 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 a very lively color. Alejandro Morales was asking, where's the blue coming from? The blue, oh, ultramarine. So that's the only blue we're using still. Yeah, I thought about putting some um, cobalt, but mm -hmm. uh, I didn't need like super high chroma today, so. Yeah, so weird green. I, I don't really have a place for it. I mean, I don't want to say that the only moment I would want to put it on my palette is if I'm painting something green, like grass in light, grass in sunlight. Um, but I just I just don't. It's it's just not part of my you know painting brain using these greens. So yeah, I think it when I assess when I try to assess my knowledge of of my colors and my palette and my experience greens are a void for me I don't really know much about greens so yeah I've always kind of avoided them mm, talking about the discord yes Ivan was saying don't let Alejandro in maybe he may be transformed discord into skynet <laughs> and Alejandro Morales said bots don't paint Nice portraits like the one Callum did of Danny. Oh, I haven't seen it. You haven't? No. No, I have. He he um he was he's painting you, uh, but he put like a, a veil of a color on top, and now is Callum there? Could you check if Callum is is well, uh, is with us? I think Callum was. Maybe he's painting while he's um. Oh wait, uh yeah. Mm. Oh no, I think Callum. Callum missed. Uh, today's a point okay no 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 that's that's good <laughs> um but callum i think uh because we talked about this uh and i think he he put he veiled the color he put some sort of like um oh it's super cool yeah but then he can you see that he um it's almost like he sanded it down again yeah and it has like i like i yeah. i love it i know like that he's he trying to get it? somewhere else with that but yeah. i like it i like it too and it's cool, the part that has, like, the different... Yeah, that he lifted that somehow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't know if he just uh, wiped it clean or yeah, he cool. sanded it down. You know, that's it could be done oh, in that's many super ways. Cool. But I'm going to comment. It looks amazing. Yeah, I thought I told you he was painting you. Maybe I, I just said it in passing and... and um, no, I remember you told me, but I didn't know that there was an image because I remember he oh, called okay. you. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. But I, I, like, I never saw the image that he was painting. So, um, 
Rosalind said, Max does use it. I have a tube sitting out based on his recommendation. Oh, the cinnabar cool. green. Yes. So I'm very sure he uses it the exact same way he used to use it, which is that color is there because cad red is in his palette and uh, permanent rose. I, uh, I forget now. I, I know that it was like a magenta ish rose, like a rose ish or rose matter. Maybe it's like cad red, rose matter, and alizarin. And Max can only gray colors out with like pure mixing, like wonderful pure mixing. Like it's very weird for Max to say, I'm going to grab my earth to tone something down. Like he'll always just mix like an orange with a blue or a yellow with a purple or a red with a green. Like he'll always go for that very, very pure, nice, um, just very traditional way, very chromatic way of graying down a color. So, you know, I am positive that he's he's mixing his reds with his greens for sure. Liet said, greens feel unnecessary in the 90% of the circumstances because you can mix it, at least to me. Yeah, I think that's been my experience too, to be honest, um, Liad. You're right. It's just, uh, it's one of those colors that, that seems redundant for yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah, and and more when you have a limited, like a sort of limited palette. Yeah, like and that you, as you said, like you always think a lot about adding a color, like right. if you really need it. Right. And a green or an orange, it's like, or a purple, it's like a color that you can have it oh by yeah. mixing. So yeah, yeah, greens, green, good. um, oranges for me. Now that you mention it, Danny. Yeah. They are like. Why? Why even? Why like, orange? Yeah. If you have that. Or purple. If that's you have why that, I said the, the three. Like, why? I mean, well, you know what's the weird thing about purples though? or And um, and uh, violets? It's super hard to mix like a uh, like a cobalt violet. Yeah. It is very tough to mix. Yeah, with like a red and a blue. You, I, At least for me, I am not able to mix that color. Or like a dioxazine purple. Because you would think like, oh, come on, dioxazine purple is like cake. Like just use, I don't know, like um, any any red blue if you're using, you know, whatever type of blue you're using or blue violet. Um, just use that and, and alizarin, for example, like a deep red, like a red violet. Come on, you you have to be like super close. Like that is that is an easy one. Oh, no, not at all. Like you will never get to purple. Like you can yeah. get a purple. Of course, you'll get a purple, but you can't mix dioxazine purple. I like I would bet anyone I would I would tell anyone, try to mix this color from anything that you have out there. And I think most of us would fail. I'm sure there's somebody who's like incredibly sensitive to color that that can or knows a ton about pigment or has a million colors and maybe they can get close. But in my experience, it's very there's some colors there that are ridiculously hard to achieve yeah, maybe. and there are you know cat orange but like something like cat orange it's like come on if Why? you have cat yellow yeah. and cat red just don't do it come yeah. on don't be and lazy the greens too. yeah i feel like the greens are like super easy to have like if you want a specific green i get it like you need a green in your palette but i also think it's kind of redundant but just because of the way i paint I think you know I'm what it always is. Always like primary, uh, white and uh, black, maybe. Yeah. Or sometimes like um. Like an earth. Like an earth. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I think it is. Sometimes I think I just think we're capricious. Like we just like a color. We just like how a color feels. Yeah. Or you know, it's not solely based on if a color is useful or if it makes sense in a yeah. palette. Sometimes we're just like. I freaking love that color. No, and there's like, people period. that there's people that love to see like the whole uh, yeah. rainbow oh, in yeah, the palette. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like twenty colors. Oh yeah, and it's like they use them all. Yeah, so that's perfect. But because of the way I paint, yeah, I don't feel like I need them. Mm. But but for example, that green that uh, Colleen Barry is using, that's like a you know. Mm. If I close my eyes and if I say, oh, Colleen's green, I'm like, oh, yeah, I know what you're talking yeah. about. Like, that's... I, I also know what you're yeah, talking about. Yeah, it's like, okay, I know that color. Yeah, that's... I, and I forget what that green is. Like, cad green, maybe? Or cobalt green? I, I forget. I don't even know which pigment that is. But, um, yeah, but it's it's those sort of things. I think that certain people just have 
like an affinity to a color. Yeah. And regardless of like they'll make it work within their palette. Yeah. They'll just really like push it in. It's like, hey, you know, I know you guys are in friends, but this is my best friend. So you're going to have to accept him. Yeah. Like that's it. Period. Mm. Oh, Callum is here. Hi, Callum. Very Callum. nice painting, Callum. I didn't. I haven't seen it. No, I hadn't. Hadn't seen it? Hadn't seen it up until like a few minutes yeah, ago. Yeah, I just commented it. Uh, so and Callum, Callum what said, I used a bismuth yellow slash white as okay. my only white and I really liked it. Nice, very nice. Oh, what we were talking about. Nice, nice, nice. Mm, Callum also said, I heard this question on a podcast with uh, Jean-Pierre Roy. Is ultramarine blue warm or cool? I'd say it's very cool. I mean, to me, it's like undeniably cool. I don't know. But that also depends on which, because I have to, like the only way I can really tell if colors, well, not the only way, but one of the ways is by mixing it with white. That's what usually, um, you know, that's what usually happens if you, if you make like tints of a color, uh, you can b get a better sense of, of the temperature of a color. But the thing is, titanium white is so cool that it many times overpowers the temperature of that color that you're mixing because it's so cool and it's so opaque that many times it just takes over. But I I believe it's very cool. I would say it's a, it's a very cool blue violet. I really do. I think when you start comparing it with like cobalt, for example, cobalt is a warmer uh, blue. You know, that's why they, they called it like a blue red, which is very weird in my brain. <laughs> yeah. But um, but yeah, that's that's um, I don't know. For me, it's kind of simple. That one is kind of simple, to be honest. Callum said, so apparently in the context of sun, it should be cool. It's the color of the core shadow on cerulean. OK, the concept on, on sun. What is that? Yeah, the context of okay. sun. So sun I'm as in what? The sun. El sol. Okay. But yeah, I don't know. So if you, so if you put light, I, I, I didn't get that. I don't, I didn't understand that. I'm being super ignorant about this. So you, maybe you can explain it a little bit better for me. Because I'm sure other people uh, understood, but maybe I didn't understand. Cody Winicky said, as I understand it, temperature can only really be determined when comparing it to another color oh yeah well everything uh, i think every attribute of color is relative Callum every single one of them of sunlight casting a yellow slash orange okay okay so direct sunlight or just light i just want to be super clear alejandro morales said but I didn't know it was possible to get primaries mixing secondaries as well. What? It requires very specific pigments, oh. but it is possible. But is it? No, but no. Alejandro, I think I think um, we're speaking about relative uh, primaries because primaries are called primaries for a reason. Yeah. So, no, I don't think so. I think you can make, you know, I think you can use the yellow in a green to make it look to make it look and that's the the key word here to make it feel or to make it look within the context of all, you, all the other colors that are surrounding it to make it feel like a yellow but no because you said the yellow with a green yeah the yellow from a green like for example if it, this is a great example yeah, cinnabar has more yellow in it and viridian has more blue in it so this would be a green yellow and this would be a green blue so you can, you can, with a lot of effort, try to speak about the blueness in that viridian yep. and the yellowness in that um, cinnabar. Yeah, but I don't think you can but mix you it cannot, to get a yellow. You cannot mix a, a cat primary. yellow out of, uh, out of um, cinnabar. You cannot. You can make it seem uh, like James Gurney does these exercises all the time. He's a genius. Um, you can make those colors seem yeah, but that's what like they are. Cody was talking about like in comparison. Yeah, always. They would seem that is yeah, yellow that is, were. Yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. not like there we go. it's yellow. Yeah, there we go. That that's the key part there. Mm, Catherine said, 
I missed the start of the stream, so I don't know if you did show the reference photo in the beginning. Oh, but no, is we there haven't. a possibility to have a look at it? No, because then we would ruin uh, what the painting is going to be. At the end, you'll understand why. Today it's a, it's no a nothing, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a pic um, Fer sent to me and I just found it adorable. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, I want to paint this. So there's nothing, you know, it's just a tiny bit of, of mystery, but completely unnecessary mystery. And it's just um, playful, you know, for me. Alejandro Morales said, there's a video of Cesar Cordova painting a seascape using only purple and green. Purple and green. Yeah, but maybe it's what you were talking about. Like, it looks like like they can make it feel bluer. Right. But it's not that they're creating blue. Right, green exactly. Green and purple. And you know what it is, Alejandro, also? That you're looking at something that you know it to be blue. So yeah, so your head exactly. completes the exactly. information so it needs. Even if it's greener, if it, even if it's a purple and a green, your mind is just so accustomed to saying, I'm painting the sea is blue, that you are going to, like your brain reconfigures that into blueness. It's kind of like when we're painting with a Zorn palette and people say, oh, I love the blues in your painting. And I'm like, no, well, not There's they're not blues, blue, they're black. Yeah. They're black. They just seem like blues. They just really feel like blues, but they're not blue. They're black. Alejandro said, he does get blue out of that. It's not a seam. It does work. Um, I would have to look at it. Could you link it for us? No, they can't. That's the thing. Remember? Oh, could you send it to Danny to her? Um, yeah. I'm could you put it on Discord? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to uh, look for it. Cesar Cordova. Wait. And maybe it's kind of what I was saying, um, Alejandro, that many times you use the blue that's already in a color. Because many colors are not just pure pigments, but they have, they're a mix of like uh, different pigments. So maybe there's blue pigment mixed in and you can, it's not as if you can just um, um, separate pigments, but you can access the blueness in it. But again, I have to say, no, it's, it's, I mean... It sounds like an amazing chromatic exercise, like color theory exercise. But I think in practical terms, I, I really don't think you could do it. You could just mix a blue or a yellow or a red. I really don't. Oh, so he has a video that says paint red without red paint. So he's using... I'll be curious. Like, we can't watch these now, but I'll watch... Um, I'll totally watch them. But it's so relative. It's super, super relative. But it's not red if you see it. It's redder. -er. It's redder. That's what I was That's saying. The thing. That's why I said. It's, I know this is kind of. It could look redder. Yeah. But it doesn't mean it's red. Yeah. Could you, could you, Danny? Could you look at the um, the mud? So put um, Delacroix, Delacroix, and uh, color and mud. I think I think it's actually mud. Oh. Color. And mud. Oh, the and was just me saying and. Col color mud? Yeah, color mud. And that's it, like, uh, like mud, like earth. Yeah. So there's a quote. Try to find that quote. I can find it if you don't find it. Wait. Let me see. So, de la I can paint you the skin of uh, Venus with mud. Yeah. Provided you let me surround it as I will. That's yeah. The, yeah, that's the best quote in color theory history, I feel. Yeah. Because that's how you understand that yeah, so it's, it's not about the color, like the single color you're putting, Never. but the relationship exactly. with the colors exactly. that surround so, it. So Delacroix so is saying, you could give me mud. I mean, this is very Eurocentric mud. So let's date the uh, Eurocentric uh, quote. So let's, let's um, contextualize it in, in, you know, in terms of, of that moment in time. So when he's saying Venus, he is describing like this virginal white woman, like the, the palest and purest in that big quotation marks there um, of skins. Right. So he's saying I could paint it with mud, which it seems to be the, the direct opposite of, of, of that virginal state, that virginal um, skin tone. I could paint it with mud 
if you let me choose what to put next to it. So it's never about that thing. It's never about that one thing. It's always about everything that's surrounding it. Always, 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 always about what's surrounding it. So, so well, I, I found the video. We could do that exercise. It is, look, because it's, what is they're he using? using dioxazine violet. Dioxazine violet. Dioxazine violet. Okay. And. Cobalt teal? No. Thalo green. Thalo green. Thalo green, I'm sorry, which okay. is super blue. Like a blue green. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I've I've never used those colors, but oh okay, but I mean, there's so much blue in both of those colors. Yeah, that's why I said like thalo green is like a more blue than. Yeah, there's so much blue in those colors. To be a hundred percent honest, like so much blue. It would be interesting to see what's the makeup, like the chemical makeup of those colors. And to see how much like blue of, of blueness is in there. With that, this is a good uh, discussion. Like and also slash. Here's the other one that's uh, paint red without red paint. Okay, and wh what are, what is he using? He's using uh, cadmium orange. Okay. Um, cadmium so orange hue. Okay, so violet. That's like Permanent green light I think that's and white. Use. There's a lot of red in that um, in that violet. So let's go. Yeah, but I mean, there's a lot of red in that violet. I mean, I'm not. I'm. I don't want to dismiss it. That's no. A nice and also, look, it's the orange. But look, so you can see it's the orange. Yeah. But then you see. Like your eye thinks of... And it's a watermelon. Of course you're going to say it's red. Yeah. Of course you're going to say it's red because it's a watermelon. Like your brain... But it's also because of how it's surrounded. Yeah. But I bet you if it was something that you don't associate with a color, like if I just painted your sweater and I would just painted those colors, like people would go, oh, that's like an orange, reddish, purplish gray. Yeah. That, that's how they would describe it. But because that's the thing, because it's something that your brain associates with a color, with a particular color, like if I painted Hellboy with those colors, it's like, you know, Hellboy to be red. So you're going to see it red. You're just you are like your brain. The brain is an amazing, amazing thing. Like Cal Callum wouldn't know about this, but it's incredible. It's actually incredible. And a lot of color theory has to do with how your brain works, how our brain works. And how our brain perceives and understands and like reconfigures color. So <gasps> it's it's really amazing. I, I mean, I'm not I am not disregarding the exercise. I think it's super cool. But I think it's a color exercise. I think it's just, you know, it's one of those things that sounds super catchy. Like you can mix primaries from anything. Like, no, come on. No. Mm, not Alejandro literally. Morales said, I believe it is the red and the yellow canceling each other. Uh, Cody Winicky said, I can't see the picture, but if you put green next to it, it will look extra red. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we were talking. So. Oh, yeah. But again, that's like a human being thing. That This is not like, uh, like it, a bird doesn't see this way. This is us. Yeah. You know, there's no, you know, reason us, like outside our own um, construction you know, as, as human beings where we say, oh, that color, that bit of the um, spectrum of the visible spectrum, that bit of wavelength in the visible spectrum makes this other bit of the visible spectrum feel more enhanced. So it's like, oh, if you put green right next to red, it actually, when you put them close to each other, they exacerbate their nature so the red makes the green look more green whatever that means and the green makes the red appear to be more red so but what is that like it's it's so abstract like how can something make something else without doing anything to it nothing it's doing nothing it's just being right next to it and it makes it like look redder and greener 
Like that is such a fascinating thing. It is fascinating. It's also like uh, remember in the chat, your sister was like, "Oh, I'm gonna send you something that's gonna blow your mind." Yeah. And it was like two squares. Yeah. And it was like which like one's darker? Like a cast darker? shadow. You know, yeah. you know that exercise that it's like, like a, a gridded, chessboard. like a checkerboard. Checkerboard. Yeah. yeah. Chessboard. And, is yeah. It's also. And it's one that's in shadow and the other in light, and they're trying to see if the dark, in light. Is uh like they ask which one is which darker? Which one's darker? And you go, oh, the dark one that's in light, but it's the same. It's actually as the same the one exact. That's, yeah, uh, in the shadow, and it has to do with light. And and I remembered what you what you've told about uh Fer, when you told her about how the sky can be all those colors. Every color, yeah. Yeah. You could paint. You could paint the sky any color. Because it can appear any it, color yeah depending on light yep so um, but it's a fascinating exercise yeah 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 it is it is like um alejandro james gurney has some absolutely incredible exercises there's one that he's doing a i forget what it is it's kind of like a diner ish place and he uses um uh i think what he does if i'm not mistaken i don't want to ruin this I think what he uses for orange in one painting, the same mix he uses for orange in one painting is the mix that he uses to be oh, to look I like remember. blue in another yeah, painting. Yeah, I remember that video. It's amazing. It's, a, James it's Gurney. an older video, it's but an it's older a very video, good but one. James Gurney is a freaking genius. If somebody could... Um, yeah, like a color master. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he said he's incredible. Yeah. He's, that's why I say that he, he is different than many, he's many, amazing, many people yeah. out there. He is absolutely incredible. But if you guys like want to see how, how talented he is in terms of, of, of his color understanding, please go search see for that, that video. video. Yeah, because it's mind-blowing. It is mind -blowing. fascinating. It is fascinating. It's like a color class in like half an hour. Yeah. And with that alone, with that video alone, you'll be like, okay, this is, you know, this is it. This is like, I get it now. I get what color relationships mean. I get what it means. Like when people say it's not about that one color, it's about the relationships you generate in your painting. That's exactly what they mean. So yeah, if you guys want to check that out, please please look for that. That's in his channel. Rosalind said, ha ha ha, robot Callum. <laughs> and Callum said, hey, I had to study the brain for at least a minute to fully integrate into your society. <laughs> <laughs> um. Cody Winicky said, Gurney's book, Color and Light, is fantastic. Yeah, It is amazing. It is, it is very, very good. Um, Leah said, if you find the video, put it in the Discord. Yes, please. No, you. You are in the Discord. Uh, yeah, I know, but I don't want to stop. No, like, not now, but uh, later today, if, maybe. If we get into Someone these like, nerdy conversations that are super cool, like I stop painting. So yeah. I feel bad. Oh, and Hannah? was saying penalty for Liverpool. Oh, I didn't want to say anything, but thank you, Hannah. And you're you're Salah, my scouse partner. Salah scored. Yes. So let's see. King Mo. Mm. Ooh. Something happened. It's. Yeah. I mean, we should win this game. We should. Yeah. But we, you never know. But we should. But we never know. But you never know. Yeah, yeah. Could you see the starting 11, Danny, uh, to see if um, yeah, wait. Lucin, Lucido is playing? Oh, I think he, he does. Oh, okay. Because there's a tweet that says a minute ago, 23 Diaz gets in behind the Leeds defense with a great solo run, but his effort is saved. Oh. <sighs> I mean, he scored already, so, yeah. we, you know. Oh, we were like that, almost Oh, we, I, we were yelling. You should yeah. have seen us. We screamed our lungs out. Yeah. Like, I got my eyes tearing up. Oh, it was amazing. And I told you, like, I don't know how, when someone is um, from your country, yeah, you feel like if it was a familiar of yours playing. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like someone we feel super close. close to your heart. That happens very much in Colombia, yeah. Yeah. Like, when he was playing, I was like, like, my heart was pounding so bad every time he like lose lose the ball or something yeah. like that so yeah we really felt that game uh, it was a tough game too super tough game oh remember Rosalind told us that uh she was gonna get the james gurney book signed yes, yes 
Roslyn said, "Oh my God, my book came from James Gurney, and he drew a picture with his signature." Oh, that's Aye, so. That's he's so, so nice. He's so so amazing. Yeah. I wrote to him. Maybe if he's listening to this eventually. Oh yeah, because I wrote Alina to him. was saying James Gurney OPL interview. That would be awesome. Yeah, so. I wrote to him and um, as of right, I I know he saw the message, <laughs> but he hasn't answered. So we gotta wait. So yeah. But um, but I'm I I mean, it would be awesome, but we're we're not gonna push him, because he's amazing, and we would have loved we would love if we could do. Uh, if you're listening. Jim. Yeah, we would love if you if we you could do could. like a little interview, <laughs> but take your time. But you're amazing. But we would. But love we it. would love it. <laughs> but you're super cool. Ivan said, by the way, cat yellow plus cat red is not like cat orange. Oh come on. What? Come on. I mean, I know it's not literally, but it's literally. Uh, but I mean, <laughs> what? So I'm gonna say that I'm gonna say it like this: cat yellow, cat red, and cat orange are literally the same pigment, but at different temperature. Mm -hmm. That's the only difference. So the higher the temperature, the um, the the you know the more it goes towards orange, and then the more it goes towards red. So the mix That's it. literally doesn't make the same so it's, but it's literally so the same pigment yeah literally so what you do with temperature you can kind of do with mixing so i'm gonna say that because i and i know that to be true like that i will I, i will die on that hill but maybe ivan knows i know i love these discussions on color by the way alejandro morales said yes i agree with nicolas and danny 100% Until I saw Cordoba painting the seascape. And what baffled me was not the colors in the image, but when he started to mix the paint in the palette. Yes, I have seen the video by Gurney. Oh, yeah, because we've, like, we kind of, uh, you say it's scrub, the video? Um, when it's not scrolling, but. Oh, scrubbing. Like, scrubbing scrub, is just yeah. going, like. We scrub the video a tiny bit. And. I think it also has to do with what Nicolas said, and it's like the composition of the specific co colors he used. Like, they're mainly blue. So Yeah, he's very, very intelligent with in that, picking. Yeah. Um, like, that wouldn't work, Alejandro, if I told you, give me any blue and give me any purple. Yeah. Oh, yeah, or give me any yellow, give me any orange or any uh, violet. Well, violets usually have a ton of red in them, to be totally honest here. But um, no, no, no. But you know what? And trust me on this. I'm not trying to like be super smart here or to be like a wise ass. There is a reason why he picked a watermelon. And there is a reason why he picked a seascape. Trust me on this. Like totally, totally trust me on this. Um, it is, you know, it is doable. It is that it, it's such a... It's such an easy thing to do to fool your mind. It is so, so, so easy. Trust me. That's why those color exercises are so amazing. It's just that we're fooling our brain. Our brain is the one that's like, we may think of ourselves as super intelligent, like, no, come on, we can, you know, we can figure this out. But your brain is fooled. That's why my sister was like, oh my God, you guys are not going to imagine like which one is the darker one. Yeah, and we were like, this one yeah and because like, 99 oh, everything. <laughs> right because 99 out of 100 people go like well that's in shadow of course the one that's in shadow because that's what the brain does right, like you don't even have to think about the brain it, associates shadow with dark that's it as it as it associates uh the sea with blue yeah and a watermelon with red yeah so so the, there is there this this is yes about mixing Like part of it is is being intelligent about color mixing, but the other part is being super intelligent about subject matter. It's, it's, it's about how you display that, and it's about subject matter, for sure, for sure. So Hannah said, Matip, goal. What? He's Corner. done it again. Nice. And a crying emoji. Very nice. So I'm guessing like a corner kick for sure. Yeah. Uh, Alejandro Morales said, I believe there's more in this case than we believe to know. Sorry for insisting. My brain no, was no. also telling me it's not possible. No, I will. I'll make you this promise. Like we can discuss it tomorrow. I'll I'll watch those videos right after we um, we finish. Uh, Low Corp said hello, Nicolas and Daniela. Hi, Low Corp. 
Uh, quick question. Yes. Which medium do you use? Loving the streams. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for uh, joining us. So right now, no medium. Just straight paint. Which is yeah. a very nice so way to paint. So oil paint, uh, no medium. Yeah. And it's a raw paper. Yeah. Uh, Alejandro Morales said, I do trust you 100%. He also said that the trick does only work with those two pigments. Yeah, that's why we said he was super intelligent picking those specific two. Right, right. Mm. But also, I think that if the mixing he did, you put it next to uh, ultramarine blue, you would see the difference. Like your brain wouldn't read it as blue as it does. So you're saying in the, uh, in the seascape? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because now you would have a blue to compare it uh, to. compare it, to. it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was... And, now, and, and in that case... Your brain is like, no, Your brain that's is probably, not. okay, that's blue, but these other ones are like purpler and yeah. greener. So it's not blue. Yeah. yeah. Or, well, let's say, I not think it's best to just say purpler, more purple, or but more how green. But do how do you say less blue? Less blue. It, no, purpler. Yeah, that's not a word. So more purple and more blue. Blue, so less, blueless. <laughs> it's blueless. <laughs> Uh, low carb said nice. Thank you. No, you're welcome. Mm. We can try some of those. I'm not great at them, but I can kind of if I prep a little bit, I can I can do those paintings. I can try and do those those kind of fun paintings. Hannah said no, he came forward and played it out. What? Why to Salah? Which returned to him and scored. Oh, my God. One of those uh, Matip things that he just dribbles the ball. You know, he, he, he gets the ball like in the middle of the park and he just dribbles through like five or six players. That's amazing. I love when he does that. But, you know, it's like nine out of ten times. Like his last pass is terrible. So. Another penalty? For uh, Liverpool? I don't know because it says... I'm in the Twitter, and they tweeted 22 seconds ago, penalty for Liverpool. What? So another one? Hannah, maybe you can let us know. Cause that sounds crazy. I mean, it is what it is, but... Hannah said yes and crying emojis. But I don't know if it's yes to what you were saying. No, or it, to the I penalty know. I think thing. to the pen, yeah. Is it? Maybe. Cause it, yeah, it says one minute ago. It has to be Salah again. We gotta it give him. It says penalty, Carl something. Cause I can't read the complete <laughs> username. In Twitter said penalty for Liverpool after Mane is brought down when seemingly nice. clean through. Nice. Mane is is playing amazing too. They're all playing like. Mm. But Alejandro Hannah said, yes, a penalty. It is Salah. Mohamed Salah. Uh, what were you going to say? I'm sorry, I interrupted. No, no, no. I was just going to say, um, I, I was just going to tell uh, Alejandro that, that I promise that I'll, I'll look into that. <laughs> Cody Winicky said, this passionate color theory conversation mixed in with match updates from Hannah is intense. I should make popcorn. <laughs> Too much. I think it's the perfect mix. It's too much. I mean, uh, Leeds, the thing is, Leeds played like a hell of a game, but just like two days ago, hmm. like three days ago. So they got to be exhausted. That game was super rough. Mm. Gabriel Pozo said, Nico, See? now that you've touched on subject matter, if you had to quantify the elements of interpretation in a painting, Oof. which ones would you come up with? What? Help me out here. Like, get me started, because I don't know if if um, are you saying like still life or, or 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 space figure like stuff like that? Help me out, because I I'm a little lost. The elements of interpretation in a painting. Yeah, I don't know. I I I'm I'm how, how do you understand that, Danny? Because I don't. I I'm don't. a little lost. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. How Gabriel, to... ayúdenos un poquito, porque es que no no sé. No sé entender el enunciado. Deme un ejemplo y, y seguimos. So I'm going to read what Bashria uh, sent, but I can't 
say the answer and Nicolas can't say the answer. I Because it would ruin oh, the... Okay. Um, the question? Oh, I'm sorry, I read something. Uh, no, it would ruin the painting. Oh. So, Bishriya said, I'm sorry if you spoke about this before, yeah. but what made your decision to make the face blank? Really loving how it's turning out. So, uh... If you stick around until the end. No, but this is, we're building it up way too much. No, let's, yeah. I mean. I mean. No, 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 no but don't say, don't. No, 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 I'm going to say every, the same thing I've said uh, uh, about the uh, the image. Okay. No, um, Beshria, it's, it's just an image that Fer sent, uh, sent me last night. It's literally a screenshot, a, of, a, a screenshot image, yeah. of which she sent me. And I just thought I could have um, a blast just painting what she sent me, so. Uh, but it's that simple. It's nothing more than that. Hannah said, it's my favorite two things, to be honest. Liverpool and our painted live sessions. Oh, oh stop that's it. That's so nice. Stop it. You're invited to Danny's um, <laughs> yeah, uh, house hunting. Apartment run. <laughs> yeah. So again, another there. Did so he score Salah, again? Yeah. Oh, scored. God. <laughs> no, poor. That's a good team. I, I feel so bad about uh, for Bielsa. I mean. Let's get it straight. Like I, the first thing I want is for Liverpool to win. But I feel so bad for Bielsa because he's such an amazing, uh, amazing, amazing um, uh, manager. But, um, but yeah. But I, th I just think they had a, a tough game against United. So, mm. do you remember that we watched part of it? That you said that it was raining, like it was really like yeah. pouring terribly. Yeah, yeah, it was. So it was a tough game. Like they were sliding all over the place. Yeah, it was really good, but yeah, it was yeah, yeah, it was yeah. a tough game. Like you could tell that that team that whenever you play in like uh, a field like that, no, we we don't have fields like that, but it takes your legs out. It just no, because here the problem. Because I remember when I was in high school, and we had like a tournament or something with other schools. Yeah, and if it was raining, oh my god, it was like mud. Just yeah, you can't. Mod. Yeah, yeah, you can't. Uh, like you end up playing like brown uniform versus brown uniform because it's all mud. Yeah, I remember that. It was hard. Tough, tough. Yeah. Yeah. And you would always end up barriéndose. How do you say that? Like sliding, like sliding. a sliding tackle. Yeah. Yeah. But not because you wanted to, <laughs> but because you no, couldn't. No, it's a, like you, you like super clumsily. You have yeah. to. Yeah. Yeah. And the ball just, at some point when it's raining, like the ball is very quick. But then if there's enough rain on the field, the ball just, you could kick it and it just like, it just lands <laughs> and it just stays there. Yeah. So you, you could kick it as hard as you want and, and it just like, plop, yeah. it just plops in place. Yeah. It's so difficult to play like that. Or if you want to make a passe, how do you say passe? Pass. A pass. Yeah. I'm if you're sorry. passing the ball, yeah. If you want to pass the ball. Yeah. Sometimes you, like you have a super good uh, calculation of where you're going to kick it. Oh, yeah. But the mud just like yeah, it always takes it whatever the Whatever the hell it wants. Yeah. yeah. You're always like short. Yeah. Always. Or you try to overcompensate, which is was what was happening with uh, Liverpool when they were playing uh, Norwich, I think. Norwich. Um, that they were like overcompensating everything because yeah. the, the it was also like raining and it was super tough to, um, to play. And, uh, and then you try to hit... You're like, okay, I know this ball is gonna be is gonna go short, so I'm gonna kick it harder. And then it and goes then it just too. Goes, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bishria said, Oof, football in the mud is just something else. In the rain and mud. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alejandro Morales said, What's with the apartment hunt, Danny? I <laughs> thought you guys just moved not long ago into that place. Oh, oh no. Yeah. We've been here for more than a year. Yes. Uh wait. Yeah, yeah. Like a year and four months. But no, no, no. But uh, we're joking, Alejandro, because I said that I would love to go. Like, I love to see houses and apartments that are for sale, not for sale or for rent. But not because I want to move or, or, or that I we can, can afford move it. There. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But because I think it's super fun. Like, I would love to uh, go to open houses just because so i was joking and saying that for my birthday i would love to do that with uh nicolas and he said no he wouldn't go with me and so my row rose 
<laughs> came to the rescue. No, so Rosalind and, and Robin said that they would come here to Colombia for my birthday to go house hunting and apartment hunting in a chiwa. It's so just that uh, it's like Ro a joke. Rosalind introduced us to this thing. I forget how, what it's called again. <sighs> Rosalind, what was it called? House? Like house parade something, no? Yeah, I forget. House parade? Is I, it? I forget. So it's a, it's a thing where in the U.S. there's a day that, um, or in certain cities uh, in the U.S. there's a day that you could just go and check like these, you know, uh, super expensive mansions or Parade houses. of homes? There you go. So it's just, yeah. Uh, the Parade of Homes is an annual free tour that is open to the public. And it's the best way to view the newest homes and the newest communities throughout the Triangle. What? No, because this one's about Triangle Parade of Homes. So oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm, so I would love to do that because I think it's so fun. Fun. I'm sorry. What did you say? Fun. No, it sounded like fun. And yeah, but it's a joke. I mean, we're not moving for now. No, we're hoping to maintain the apartment, yeah. <laughs> to keep the apartment. <laughs> Let's just hope we uh, we keep selling paintings so we can keep the apartment. Uh, Rosalind said, ha, 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 parade of homes. Alejandro Morales said, hey, hey, I understand. Cool present. Rosalind is so kind. Yeah, and Robin too. They're all so kind. You are all so kind. Everyone here in the chat. Everyone. We love you all. You get a car and you <laughs> get a car. And you get a house. <laughs> <laughs> Emily said, I'm coming too for the birthday celebration. Woo. Okay. So, oh yeah. Because it was Ro Ro M. Ro Ro. Okay. Ro, you Ro you do your thing. I like, again, this is all you. Ro Ro M Danik. Okay. Oh my God. Um, Camila Ogerman said, I'm loving the painting. Uh, thank you, Camila. Uh, Alejandro Morales said, I heard you guys have Kickstarter for a new <laughs> book. <laughs> yes, we have. Let <laughs> me. You uh, sounded like a price is right there. <laughs> yes, yes, we, we have. have. <laughs> so it's up for 17, only dun, 17 days. Dun, 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 dun. So if you want dun, a book, dun, dun. I'm trying to don't think sleep of, on I'm it. I'm trying to remember Price is Right music. I don't know if I have Because after right. 17 days, dun, 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 dun. it's gone. Dun, 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 so check dun, dun, dun. it out. So da, 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 da. I forget. Uh, I only know those three bars, I think. Campaign is alive. It's alive? It's, it's alive. alive. Check it out. There you go. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Bruno V said, I haven't commented. Can I still get a house? <laughs> And Rosalind said, you get a house. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom said, great painting. Always, always oh, here with us. Yeah. And I was uh, talking about the um, book. So just for a tiny bit. So maybe if there's someone that doesn't know about the book, uh, we're going to have a new book called Possibilities. It's a Kickstarter campaign and it has... Two tiers, two different tiers. So we made the campaign because we wanted to make a book. And this book is going to be a 200 pages, uh, full color, hardcover, with a recollection of the images we've done. A for collection. A yeah, recollection is okay, like a memory. A collection. Yeah. I was going so smooth and now. Yeah, no, no, no. I just. A collection. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know that I don't. No, 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 no. Not that, that you did that, but that I thought I was like flying with my english you were doing good it was it was really good and i was in just inventing yeah words, it's just for the, it's just for <laughs> the books it's like a recollection it's like okay this is what i remember the first oh, okay, two okay. years felt so like. it's a collection so it's like 200 blank of pages. a lot of the paintings we did for the first uh two years of our painted lives and also some of the images that we've done this year um and it's gonna be a big art book because it's gonna be 11 2 by 11.2 inches which is big coffee uh, coffee table size it's a coffee table book yeah, yeah. if you maybe have uh, an empty coffee table as Leah said okay you can buy the possibilities book to uh, have it 
uh, fill it in, fill it up. To fill it in, yeah. Yeah, perfect. It, to house it. I was going to say to have a companion for your table. Okay, to house it, let's say. So there's that pledge, which is uh, $100 yeah. plus shipping. Yeah. And there's another one, oh. a very interesting one Super. that's called... 100 artist edition so you would ask what's a 100 artist edition that's what you would ask good question yeah uh so when you support that pledge you would receive a 10 inch by 10 inch portrait yeah it's oil on unprimed paper yeah uh, and it's a painting of uh the artist you want yeah it's nicolas personal personal interpretation of the artist you want but it's any artist of your choice so that's amazing. It could be a writer, a musician, a painter, a sculptor, whatever you want. That's why it's a hundred artist edition. Yeah. Any artist you want. You pick the artist. You Nicolas pick the artist. You pick the artist. <laughs> you pick the artist. Nicolas paints it them from you for you. For you. And of course, yeah. uh, with oh, that pledge more. you would get the painting, as we said, and the book. Which again Ooh. is amazing. Uh, will be amazing. Will be amazing. It's we hope. gonna be. We know it's gonna be amazing. Well, we're gonna try. So we have seventeen moist, 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 <laughs> moist days, more days. <laughs> seventeen <laughs> moist days. Is seventeen suddenly more turned days. Suddenly turn sexy. <laughs> yeah. Seventeen more days to go if you wanna uh, back back our project, and the estimate deliver. Delivery date, which I think it's important to say. Yes. It's December 2022. So some people ask why. Yeah. It's because we haven't produced the book. That's how. But we created this campaign. Yeah, because crowdfundings uh, work like that. Like you create a campaign. Campaign. <laughs> campaign. That's good too. <laughs> What's wrong with me? You create a campaign. <laughs> and if people want, they can support you to help you make that idea a reality so uh we're gonna create the book we're gonna ship the book to everyone that um pledged the campaign yeah. as i said and the thing is that afterwards yeah. there's not gonna be like uh more editions of the book so we're not gonna sell the book apart from the campaign so that's why we always say there's 17 days to go. And then it's uh, closed. So, as I said at the beginning, I wouldn't sleep on it. But that's me. You do you. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. That was perfect. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Um, eh... Liat said, or buy three and keep one in a packaging just in case it goes up in value. <laughs> Emily said, Danny, you're hilarious. I love you. Oh, thank you, Emily. Roslyn said, you're the best at this, Danny. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, ja said, buying a coffee table just for this book. Nice, perfect. That's amazing. Uh, Nicolas, it's looking so good. I know I love it now. Your painting. Yeah, okay. I thought the campaign. Oh, I love it since we started it. So, um, Leah said, estimated delivery date in December? Sounds like a, it would be a perfect Christmas gift by now. <laughs> yeah, I mean. We hadn't thought about that, but. And even, I mean, if you think about it, there's nothing thinking, more annoying. Yeah. Then having to rush your Christmas presents. So Nothing. maybe if you have a loved one. I can't think of that anything that could be more annoying than that. Right? Off the top of my head, I don't think so. So if you know there's a loved one that loves our painted lives yeah. or just art and yeah. painting. I mean, they, you know, they don't have to love our painted lives, but maybe they, they don't know us. Painting. Yeah. They, maybe they can receive two gifts in one. The book yeah. and getting to know our painted lives. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> so, I mean, you can de-stress by buying now the book <laughs> and having it as a Christmas present for someone you love or for you. I mean, you can buy yourself an early uh, Christmas present. You deserve it. Um, 
<laughs> Liet said, unless you actually want to sleep on it and buy enough books to put a mat mattress on. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Mi Amore said, hey people, new here. Hey, Mi Amore, nice to have you here. And we were talking about a book. <laughs> oh my God. Maybe you don't know about it. <laughs> <laughs> about it but we have a book campaign going on if you want to check it out there's the link and you can um uh, retroceder. i don't know this is all you danny i don't know you can replay the video um to know more information about it or you can click the video in the kickstarter which by the way i think it's super cool but i mean Mm. Let's see. <laughs> Roslyn said, um, okay, so wait. Bruno V said, Yes. Do you guys know how color theory and music theory are very similar? I was looking at a color wheel. And my roommate, a musician, asked me why I was looking at music theory wheel. What? We then found a bunch of writing and images showing how they're related. And Roslyn said, Bruno, I'm a violin violinist. 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 Yeah. And, that, and that's how I think of it sometimes. Musical terms. And uh, Bruno said... Rosalind, that's very interesting. I played piano and viola, viola, yep. for years and never thought about it like that. But it made so much sense when I saw that. How are they related, though? I'm, I'm, I'm very ignorant in terms of, of music, but I would love to know how. Why is it that you thought, or, or Rosalind, you can you can shed some light here too. Like, why is it that it's um, it feels similar, like in what sense? <laughs> Marciel said oh my god Nicolas what are you doing and Beshria said meanwhile Nicolas is just silently going and uh, dos puntos de <laughs> yeah. I love it said Beshria yeah. Cody Winicky said oh man this painting took a turn I love it so this is what so I won't take credit for this because I can't but this is exactly and I'm, I'm not going to show you the image because you know it's kind of pointless <laughs> But uh, this is what Fer sent me literally yesterday, like last night. And I loved it. I absolutely loved it. And I was like, I got to honor this. And Yeah, um, and, it, and you showed it to me and you were like, I, I would love to paint it. And I was like, I think that would be an amazing painting. Like, I think it's super cool. Like, I would love, imagine having only that painting framed. Yeah, in, the, in, your, in house, your house, like the only one. <laughs> the best, that would be like, amazing. A yeah. conversation starter, like that would be amazing. Like if I would go to any house and that's the painting they have framed, like amazing, amazing. Um, also, Uko Nosor eh, dice, ¿Será por el círculo de quintas la relación con el círculo cromático? Uy, chao, no. Hasta ya no... Yo hasta ya Yo no, no llego. No, sí, no sabemos eh, nada de música. Beshria said, totally worth the, su the suspense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Iván said, that's an Instagram filter and also a TikTok. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, Roslyn said, there is a spectrum. Let's say high and low key, for example. Um... Catherine said, oh, yes. So I think Catherine likes <laughs> the painting. Um, Greg P. said, still loving my original painting I was able to purchase. Thank you, Nicolas and Danny. No, thank you, Greg, for uh, supporting us. We're always super grateful. Always. Yeah. Eh... Uh, Emi Cianuro dice, necesito esa pintura. Ah, <laughs> es genial. No sé, me da felicidad. Ja, ja, ja. Muy cool. Gracias, Emi. Um, Ellie ABD was saying, um, hello, guys. What's the medium you're using? Cheers again. So it's uh, no medium. It's just uh, oils on raw paper. 
And Ellie also said this technique is called a la prima. Yes. Yeah, it is. Mm, the Shriya said, yes, it is a filter. I forgot about that. Mm, Mi Amore said, watching this at 2.10 a.m. Yay. Oh, my. <laughs> Maybe you're going to have a nightmare with that face. Or oh, like a super cool dream. Yeah, that's a good trip, I feel. Trip? Well, I mean... But I mean, the, 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 dreams are trips. <laughs> I mean, honestly, dreams are trips. Dreams are very trippy. They are a hundred thousand percent. That that is the truth. Mm. Leech, dice how he loves. Que dice Nicolás? Nicolás. Yo le digo Nicolás. Nicolás. No sé por qué dice no, Nicolás. Uy. <coughs> 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 Uh, Ellie ABD said, "Is there any way to ship a painting if I purchase to Li Lebanon?" Yeah. Yeah, we ship um all over. Yeah, everywhere, worldwide. That's the world. That's the that's world. the world. <laughs> yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Yeah, Ellie, we can ship um anywhere in the world, anywhere where sh uh, FedEx ships. So, eh, Ana Orea dice, saludos chicos, gracias a los dos por este hermoso proyecto. Muchas gracias, Ana. Eh, muchas gracias por ser parte del proyecto, por acompañarnos. Marcial said, mushroom trip. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is trippy. What's the title gonna be? Oh, just the emoji, I feel. Oh, yeah. It has to be, yeah, right? Yeah, it has to. It has to. Mi Amore said... Oh, wait, because Beshfria said, Mi Amore, finally someone with a similar time zone. Mine is 2.42 a.m. here. And Mi Amore said, Yeah, Beshfria, we, we thriving, dude. LOL. We're really living out here like this. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, See, he went with the dude also. They went with the they dude. They went. Yeah. Irvin said, Irvin Torres Art said, Hey guys, having a blast listening to you while cooking my lunch. Always so funny. Thank you, Irvin, for always being here. Thanks. Drawing Things said, I think it's also similar in terms of complementary colors. Some uh, chords, progressions, and tones that work together. For the music comparison. Ok. Mm. Jaime Santiago dice... Me acuerdo que la semana pasada Nicolás prometió tour del estudio. Lo hacemos... De pronto, ¿sabe qué? Puedo hacerlo el viernes. Y yo puedo hacer un... Pero... Ah... O el jueves. <risa> no, sorry. pero puedo hacer el viernes. Sí. Es que no creo que me demore... Maybe. No, me, no creo que me demore. Mmm... Trabajo primero siempre, siempre. Eli ABD said, I wanted that series of fingers so bad. One, two, three, four, five. Does oh. Nicolás usually do a remake? No, he never does a remake. Don't do um, I, I mean, I could I could paint, like, not... by If by remake you make this... You, the you mean copy? the same paintings? No. no, no. Not that. But I could paint some hands. Like, I, yeah. I love that. I, I would love to... Because um, I love painting hands. Yeah. So it, and it's always like... A beautiful, wonderful challenge. So, um, in that sense, yeah. If I, if you're asking me if I could revisit painting hands, oh, for sure, a hundred percent. But, uh, but if you liked those particular paintings, no, chances are that I, I can't. I even if like I'll be super honest here, even if I tried, I they wouldn't come out the same. Like they really wouldn't. So. Mi amore said, anyways, heading out. Got a mad exam tomorrow. Oh, My good luck. My anxiety is on peak currently. No, oh, you'll do fine. Sleep. You're, You're going to do, do fine. Perfect. Uh, Ellie ABD said, yeah, it doesn't have to be the same. So the same. Yeah, uh, yeah. Hand I, 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 I don't think I can help myself with with stuff that I usually like to paint. It usually resurfaces if I have to be super honest. So so maybe maybe there is there's some hands in the future for sure. 
So Liat said, I'm two followers away from reaching 1K followers on Instagram. Oh. And Cody said, Liat, I deleted Instagram a while back. Otherwise, I would follow you. Yeah, but please follow Liat. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have to say, though, Liat, like we were we were thinking about this with Danny. I think Instagram is, is messed up right now. Yeah, it's it really, is. really weird. It's in a very strange place. Yeah. Like, I don't get what they're pushing. I really, really don't like the, the sort of um, media that they're pushing because I, I can't make sense of it. All I know is that up until, let's say, six, seven months ago, like my engagement and my growth no, was like they this can see that. oh sorry it was like this and that was not true just for me it was like kind of for everyone and uh, particularly artists if you if you talk to them they'll say the exact same thing it's like it plummeted it it, it just really really changed for some reason and um i have no access to new people anymore none whatsoever none none and that's the one thing that makes you grow that's the only thing that makes you grow. The fact that, you know, in other people's feeds, you're going to appear and they're going to be like, oh, this is so cool. And and they're going to, you know, they're going to try to follow They're going to want to follow you. Or other people share what you're doing and they're going to want to follow you. But um, that seems not to be happening anymore at all. At I don't know all. what helps. I don't even know. No, but like a. I just I, I just don't even make know how people grow. No, yeah. no, 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 no thinking about us, but thinking about how people are growing on Instagram now. I would hate that the to like believe if, that the 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 answer to that is the simplest one, which is pay for advertising. Yeah, maybe that because it's the one thing that we never did and we yeah. haven't done, and um, and we haven't considered is what I would what I was going to say. We've never considered it. So, and I would feel like disgusted if that was the way to do it so yeah because there's nothing beats like organic growth nothing no nothing that's the best way to do and it and also for what we do because it wouldn't matter if we have two million followers oh a million followers but there nobody watches our the painted lives or, yeah. who, then who cares yeah, yeah or yeah. nobody comments on your paintings or cares about your paintings like who cares like yeah. what's the point of that number if it doesn't if it doesn't translate into like actual not like you know this dumb definition of engagement but actual engagement which is like hey we're doing a live video and you show up and we're having a conversation yeah that is engagement like that to me is like engaging another human being but um if it's not that like it's it's kind of ridiculous so yeah, but you know, the, uh, uh, having said that, yes, please, like, you know, follow your friends' um, accounts and try to share what they do. Yeah, and save the posts and like and share. Yeah, because I mean, all it's that a, really helps. Yeah. I mean, it sounds like annoying, but I do think it's like helping each other. Yeah, because I think Instagram is trying to get uh, everyone's engagement like stuck which is weird but i don't get it like what do they gain from that w what are they gaining they they i would have thought they had uh, unless they were like super spoofed by like um like spooked i'm sorry by by tiktok i think that's what it was like they were like oh my god what you know what is this thing doing that is you know taking away so many of our people and um and they just started scrambling so much that they they felt they had to change everything like at its core, and um, yeah, now it's uh, now you know what's the saddest thing. And I do follow a lot of people because you know that I follow like thousands of people, but I sometimes like out of the blue will see somebody's work resurface, and I'd be like, oh, I was wondering what they were doing. And then I go into the page and, and it's like, regular. no, they were posting every day that for the last like too. six months. And I'm like, yeah, what? that happens to me, too, that I'm like, oh, I haven't seen this artist in a long time. I want to go to revisit his work. And I open and it's like, what? There's like a hundred image that I never saw. Yeah. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah. So that's that's one of the examples that shows you that, yeah, you're not seeing what you're meant to see. Yeah. So. 
first of all, congrats, Leah, because uh, people were following Leah. And Leah says, yay, 1K. Thank you. There we go. Thank you very nice. much. Um, let's see. Uh, common user123 said, is it better to try a different platform since Instagram doesn't cater to creators? But what would that be? Because we tried TikTok and we, <laughs> <laughs> we have 50 followers or less. Yeah, but what would that platform be? Because um, Leech was saying that everyone's going to Twitter. But I don't know. Mm. Yeah, I just... Oof. Bruno V said, I commented on a post of a Sherp Tonka the other day saying that I made an artwork of one and I got 300 new followers from it. So honestly, I have no idea. Maybe do that. LOL. Uh, commenting on like um, a bigger account, a bigger account, yeah. Like maybe. painting of famous. Yeah, I just, I just wish I, cause I do like, um, I do like scrolling through Instagram, cause I think it's a lot more. It's, um, I don't feel the stress that I feel when I look at um, uh, Twitter comments. I really mm -hmm. don't, like. There, there. You could argue that there are far, far less, like astronomically less, stupid conversations, like stupid arguments, on Instagram than on Twitter. Twitter is just inundated by, you know, ridiculous arguments. So th there's like a thirst to argue, um, and that's what always puts me off. Always, always, always. So, you know, but uh, but yeah, what uh, Nicolas is saying, what Licht is saying. Um, Licht. Licht, I did Licht, look. I didn't know who you, who you were talking yeah, I about, I was lost. No, 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 but that's, that's totally true. A lot of people are going there. There's no uh, censorship yeah. in terms of images. Like you can, you can show uh, penises, nipples, it doesn't matter, vaginas. It just, you know, they'll, they'll show anything. Nicolas, you're going to, I know it's dumb. All those are words, Danny, like literal words. No, but don't think that I'm arguing I you. know, but they're not even like curse words. Okay. They are words. No, but the last time you said something like that, and I don't know why we got uh, uh, demonetized. It's, no, but it's because okay. it, the, the robot thought that we were showing um, a penis. That's what, that's what happened. Mm, so... <sighs> mm. I'm almost done, by the way. I'm like a brush stroke away from, from feeling like I'm done. Jose Fail said, in what ways does Instagram not cater to creators? Um, Maybe I don't it doesn't pay. I don't know. Doesn't cater Instagram, to creators. Instagram pays for... Hey, eh, what? It YouTube pays? Like you can monetize from YouTube? Right. Uh, I don't know. TikTok? Um, but Instagram never pays no instagram doesn't mm. instagram it, the the only way you can monetize your channel quote unquote is by accepting sponsorships that's how you accept or you just get paid in stuff so uh gamers usually are like hey elgato send me this capture card and this microphone and this camera and all this gear so thank you, Elgato. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. And they sent you stuff. They just send you merch all the time. And people are like, yeah, this is good. Like they send me a graphics card. They send me a computer. They send me a, a monitor. They send me a TV. Awesome. You know, that's fine for a lot of people, but you, you don't make a living off of, like you would have yeah. to pawn all that and stuff to make a living. that, that uh, ask money for creating posts, but that's like celebrity level. Yeah. Like, for example, I don't know, an influencer. I don't know why I did the quotes. An influencer that uh, says like, hey, if you have a brand, you can pay, I don't know, $1,000 and I would do this amount of stories. Yeah. How much does a story co like cost? Yeah. So uh, yeah, we're not at that level. No. We are not. No, no I, I have to say, like, people have approached me for that. I never answer back. Yeah. Never. I have never answered back. It's not my thing. I don't, I'm not interested in that. Um, I just, I don't know. Uh, 
Alejandro Morales said, Haha, I thought Danny had a freckle I had not seen before. It was just something on the computer screen. Oh. <laughs> it was like a gigantic uh, freckle I had then. Uh, Bershria said, Many small artists I knew shifted to a new app called Artful about a year ago. Everyone was super hyped when the app was first launched. But I don't know how Artful is looking right now. It's supposed to be catered specifically towards artists. I don't know it, to I tell you the truth. Yeah, I haven't heard about it. Mm. We're never like in the up and up in terms of like, oh, this is like going to be popular. Camila Ogorman said, dice, Lo primero que pensé cuando dijeron que no está creciendo la audiencia es que deben estar haciendo extorsión para que la gente haga publicidad. Pues eso lo leímos mucho, como que si están... Eh, sobre todas las cuentas de empresa, mm. eh, leí que están mostrando las que utilizan la herramienta de publicidad paga. Entonces, pues no sé, lo leí. No sé qué tan cierto sea, pero ahí les cuento. Pero sería patético, o sea... Pues terrible, o sea... Te imaginas uno dice, uy, volvimos a crecer porque pagamos... Eh, publicidad, gastamos, no sé, eh, 50 dólares esta semana en publicidad y, y crecimos. Pero y uno sabes después que dice, yo solamente ¿y ahora lo haría? Qué? ¿Tengo, que ¿Tengo que pagar 50 dólares semanales? Mes, sí. no, y chao. además después de un tiempo, o sea, a la gente le va a salir la misma publicidad. Y si ya no lo siguieron a uno desde el principio, pues ya no lo van a seguir. No, tú, la cam no, tú puedes cambiar cada pero semana yo, yo por digo la publicidad, que pero no. A mí no. me daría curiosidad como experimento, no como decir, esta es la manera en la que hay que crece crecer, hagámosla sino experimento para decir, oigan, ¿esto sí funcionó? O tiramos 20 dólares, 50 dólares, 30 dólares, porque nadie... A la caneca. Sí, por eso. ¿Qué dije? ¿Tiramos? Tiramos. Sí, pues o sea, los votamos porque nadie se, se unió a la plataforma más. Como que nadie nos siguió, nadie nos... nada. Eso me parecería un, un experimento interesante. Sí, sí. Sí, no sé. A mí hay veces me frustra, la verdad, eso. Pues me frustra en el sentido de uno... Ahí es cuando uno se da cuenta, pues, que uno está sujeto a... Uno siempre va a estar sujeto a una plataforma, o sea, a, a lo que quiera hacer la plataforma. Sí. Roslyn said, that is so true. I've started to turn notifications on for people that I stopped... Sh that stopped showing in my feed. Yeah. Belts said, wow, I went away from the stream earlier and now I see this face. Ha, ha, ha. And, uh... <laughs> Happy emoji. Nice. So I think we're done. I think we're good. Um, I think that's going to be the painting for today. It's, it's pretty nice. It came out. It came out nice. And I I love the bits of hair. I think the base the base of the painting is is like super super nice. Pyramid uh, compositions I've always liked. I I've talked about them quite a bit quite often. I think I. Th that's probably like one of my go-to's composition in you know most of the paintings that we do for uh, for our channel. Um, uh, it's just um, it, you're almost unprepared for that for that little thing. I didn't know it was a it was an app or it was the, you know one of those like um, yassifying Filter? or emotifying your face, uh, whatever it's called. But I like it. I think it's uh, I think it's very it's very much fed. This is very, very much her to use this to, yeah. um, and I just loved it. I hadn't seen it. Loved the sentiment behind it. I thought it looked, uh, it looked great when she sent me this uh, last night, and and I was like, yeah, that's that's great. That's perfect. It's it's kind of clumsy. It feels out of place. That's why I didn't try to paint this. Um, you know, kind of. I didn't try to emulate that shape perfectly. Just the 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 nature of the shape. I think that that's what was important. Um, But yeah, it's it's a fun painting. It's a it's just a dumb little fun painting. Um, but there's enough painting in it, like enough like kind of raw nice painting, like uh, excuses to do like super nice cool painting, for me to feel yeah this is cool. This is pretty cool. So that's awesome today. We had a good good conversation today. Yeah, I'm happy. I liked yeah. it. Uh, Danny, uh, I know you're um, kind of shy about this, but I'm gonna do it. So Danny, for everyone that's <laughs> listening right now, Danny wants to put uh, five of her uh, whittlings uh, in our storefront. 
and she's been super hesitant about it, but I think they are really wonderful. I've, I've, Thank you. I've always, always respected Danny for um, what what she does. They these particular ones come from a beautiful project where she's trying to um, kind of solidify the like an idea of a person that was part of her family yeah, like that di- she doesn't have yeah. a grasp on. Like there is no firm grasp on what, you know, this person as an adult would look like. And she's just trying and trying and trying like desperately almost. Like I was trying to know her by the absence of her. That's beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. So I think that the uh, the the context of these uh, whittlings are is amazing it's absolutely beautiful Thank it's a beautiful you. personal story it's a beautiful family story it's a, it's very much so a, a story that is rooted in colombia it's like one of these stories that you could it's almost like you could only hear in south america like you could only hear in like the um south america from the equator i would i'd feel yeah um so it's a beautiful beautiful story i think the, it's a perfect um culmination in terms of the image and in terms of the repetition because it wasn't about just whittling to try and make this beautiful no because you know, i was sculpture. trying to make sense of the person exactly so so i had to do a lot exactly because i don't know uh where she is or if she's even uh alive somewhere yeah if she's alive yeah so i was trying to uh like configure her image uh, without knowing her. Yeah. But with like just knowing a tiny part of where her life was crossed with my family life. Yeah. So um, I was also going to say that I have the um, the tiny bits that I took away of the whittling. Right. So uh, the, the, when oh, I what showed it, What was them? that called? Oh, they told, they helped us out uh, the other time. The uh, sha- the uh, uh, shavings, the of shavings, the wood? maybe. Yeah. And uh, I have the shavings for every piece. So if you buy it and you would like, I could uh, create the shavings. Yeah, and you I have like little bottles. Yeah, because I have little bottles with. So what I wanted to have is the hole. So like, uh, the piece of wood, yeah, and the resulting sculpture, but also what was taken away from the wood to yeah. do that because yeah. it 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 resonates with the work i did 100 percent, it's beautiful so it's, it's it talks about what's there but what's not and how all that together makes the image of ercilia who is the person i was trying yeah. to um per- portray yeah I, th- I think it's a i think it's one of those beautiful uh projects of art that the, the origin of it is just th- this amazing, amazing um, uh, story that's very cryptic in many ways, um, yeah, it's very hard, vague it's in many ways. It's emotionally to super tough also. So that's why, you know, it doesn't, this story doesn't belong to me. So I'm I, like, I'm helping Danny because he was very um, unsure about sh- uh, like not showing these, but but putting them for sale because it, it felt weird for her. And I told her, no, we should like we have a platform for it. Yeah. And even if they like they don't sell, it doesn't matter. Like we have paintings in our in our storefront that, ha- that don't sell. That like that's okay. But I think it's kind of cool for Danny to see that her work can, you know, have have a resonance uh, like that in our community. Um, so uh, I I'm kind of pushing her uh, to do this, but she's she's super willing. And no, we because I told you I wanted yeah. to do it, and and yeah. I think we discussed about this before. And at a time, I feel I wasn't ready to uh Part. sell them yeah but now i am and i'm happy and i i know that the time i mean it might may sound cheesy but i know that the time i spend making them yeah is going to be with me forever yes. so i'm happy if they have a new home and they can be with someone that would appreciate them as much as i did yeah and would cherish cherish them as much as i yeah so it's it's very much so a piece of you i feel it's very very much so so i told her and um so i jokingly i said danny we could do a drop tomorrow a drop an nft uh no no nft no no, it's a joke we're not doing it um so we're gonna put the five of them uh, on on the storefront uh tomorrow they're they're different sizes you'll see you're gonna get uh 
the sculpture and the shavings. And the shavings in, in are you gonna in, in those in little the jars? Yeah, because oh, yeah, I have them I have them stored. They're like even like numerically stored yeah. in my father's no, in no, my no. parents' houses. Yeah, house, you're I'm sorry. And I have them all because like for me it was very important the shavings. Because it had to do, as I said, I was trying to discover, like trying to grasp the image of someone I didn't uh, met. Meet. Meet. So it was important for me, like I thought about making a sculpture uh, by taking away things because I was trying to like discover the person behind the wood, if that makes sense. Yeah, 100%. Like trying to create that person. But again, it it's burned from... Um, uncertainty because I don't know a lot of things I just know a tiny period of that person's life so I think that and the you shavings and, and you, you contextualize that time with like this this you know historical context of, of um, and social context of the, the place the region where she used to live yeah. so there's a lot of information that is giving you clues as to what might have happened or where she might have ended up with. Yeah. Um, it's also a place that's, for many reasons, um, not accessible to you. You wanted to travel, but it's not accessible. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot of like impasses there, physical ones, emotional ones, um, that are beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. That's why when we were speaking yesterday about what is a work of art, like, Works of art can be so many different things. It can come from so many different places. But I just feel that this, you know, I'm, I, I'm probably talking as, as somebody who, who loves you dearly, but also respects you, you know, enormously. And I just feel like it's one of the most fam like favorite stories that turns into um, a work of art, like a visual work of art that I've, I've known. So oh, I'm you. super excited. And uh, like, let's be honest here. We may put them and they don't sell and it's okay. It's totally fine. Like yeah. I, I put paintings up and they don't sell and it's fine. Like that is, that is not a measure of anything, of anything. But I just think it's important for you to say, hey, they're there. Like yeah. it's, a, it's more for you to say I can part with them. Like I'm finally able to say I want to share they this with people. They are there if someone wants. Yeah. Them. I think so. that's the most important part and yeah. not the part where, you know, people are going to buy them. So I think that's what's cool about this. So yeah. if you guys are interested, they're all going to be the same price regardless of their size. So there's a small, like my favorite is the smallest one because it's slanted. It's actually, the wood is actually slanted because you were very, um, you know, it, you you cared, but you didn't care about that, like the, if the wood was uh, harder or softer. I didn't care about it had the a piece surface, of like, wood yeah. I had because they were all like recovered woods. Yeah. So... Uh, some were some of the woods were in perfect shape. Yeah. Some were a little bit wonky. Yeah. There's one uh, that has a hole in the middle. Love that one and too. And that's because it was uh, the leg of a bed. Okay, that's that someone awesome. Someone cut out. Oh, that's the, perfect. Yeah. F perfect, so. fantastic. But yeah, but the, but the my favorite is the smallest one. And um, you were asking because we were talking about like pricing and I, I told you, no, they should be the same thing. Like, you know, what's the perfect example, Danny? And I know this is totally out of like what we're doing. But you remember that I have a Yoda figure mm -hmm. and Yoda is like that big and the other figures are that big. Yeah. And I told you it costs the same. Like it, it literally costs the same as the other figures. And you were the one saying me like telling me, but it's amazing. Like yeah. you can tell that it should cost the same. It shouldn't be like a third of a price. And not because of the size. It has it nothing to do with the size. So I think the uh, the nicest thing to do is to kind of like um, make it part of what is what has always been our project, which is that, you know, it's, it's about you and me. And um, when we were showing the paintings for the same price, like that's, we were totally fine with that. And when we're showing your sculptures, like it doesn't matter the size. Um, I, we'll document the size, so be 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 mindful if you're interested in the dimensions. Like um, uh, we'll measure, I'll I'll try to measure as as best as I can the dimensions. Um, so just check that, but just know that the slanted one, the one that's like the wonkiest, it's a little one. Uh, it's my favorite. So they're all going to be same price, same like OPL price, which is 250 bucks plus shipping, which I think it's absolutely fair. 
And I've always seen Danny as my, you know, equal partner. We are the same. We are exactly the same. Like the only difference is I'm older and I'm worse at her th in video games. <laughs> um, she's better than me in, in so many things. But, but as artists, we are exactly the same, exactly the same. There's no reason anything I should do, it, it costs more than, than what she does. I think the, the, you know, if we started for two years saying that this was our project, I have no, you know, I have no reason to believe that she can't say the same thing. Like, hey, these are 250 bucks. And, and so, um, so yeah. So in, in fact, you're probably going <laughs> to, 250 bucks, you're probably going to lose um, uh, sh uh, with the shipping because yeah, you have to yeah. box them, Danny. Yeah, I know that. Because we've been sending, th that's another thing. We've been sending larger paintings. And because we actually um, started to uh, fall out of the category of the FedEx envelope, it's shipping is like expensive. rocketed, like skyrockets, like yeah. it's far more expensive. So that's why we were hiking our prices for like larger paintings. Um, we we hope like it would make us so happy to say, no, it's always exactly the same price. But shipping has gone has been more expensive um, because we have painted slightly bigger paintings. It has they have been far more expensive to send. So anyway, so just um, I would ask all of you and I know that you know, all of you out there love Danny um, to show her support and to just, uh, you know, cheer her on because I think it's uh, it's super cool that she has decided to to um, to share these. And also, um, if someone uh, wants one. Yeah. And like if someone gets one and yep. wants to ask me a little bit more about it, I can be more open with them. Yeah. By telling them because it's a hard story and it's, it's a, a tough story. It's um. Like it's hard for me, it's hard for my family, but it's like objectively hard yes. also. Yes, yes. Very so tough story. That's why I'm uh, kind of uh, vague about it. But of course, if someone's interested in acquiring one and wants to know a little bit more, I can tell them a little bit more. Yeah, Share it's, them it's a just, little bit yeah, more. It's just but, but know that if you get one, um, well, I would be super happy and I would create it perfectly. I would make a perfect uh, box for them. As good as we can. I as always say as, I as good as we can. No, yeah, but you know I'm super careful. Yeah, you are. So um, I would be super happy if someone wants to have um, a, one of my carvings as part of yes. uh, their, I was going to say family, but. Yeah, it's very much so. Yeah. I We think of pieces that way. So yeah, for sure. So we're going to. Um, uh, I'm not going to bother Danny. I'm going to help her post these um, uh, tomorrow morning around 730-ish. You know, the, the time we usually um, post at the um, OPL like daily paintings. So it's going to be five of them. Um, if you plan on parting with more eventually, just, you know, you, that's that's all up to you, Danny. But uh, I think this this is like a... This is a very nice thing. This is um, you opening up and, and something Thank that you. was very, very dear to you and that means a lot to you. Um, you know, you're, you're putting it out there. So, and I think that that's, that, that should be the culmination of, of that process. Again, if they sell, great. If they don't, it doesn't matter. It's not about that. Yeah. So no, and thank you, everyone, because they were being super, super oh, they, supportive that's awesome. in the comments. So. Thank awesome. you so, so, so much. So that's going to be tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to post this painting, you know, like as always, uh, in about half an hour, kind of in, in our storefront. But mm -hmm. uh, I would uh, root for Danny for tomorrow. So I'm going to I'm going to push for her uh, for tomorrow. So Thank that's going to be it for today. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Thank you. And we'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yes. And you'll see the sculptures tomorrow. Yes. Thank you, everyone. Thank see you. See you.